six medium mats but take some off don't go too heavy with this and I, I more or less just dry brush it I just kind of flick it across the top and it will catch there let's go with a bit of the green as well let's mix this up a little bit I love blending the colors together so I don't change the brush I just like to go with the same brush and see what colors I end up with so I'm building layers here and the rust is a little bit wet so I'm not seeing the true colour coming through. Let's go a bit more blue. But it really does pick out that detail. Now I'm going to hold that to the camera. It has picked up the rust so it's not as shiny as it would normally be. But you can see how you can build those layers and change the colours. If I bring this one back in because this was one that went directly onto the dry resin. That's a better example because oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't that gorgeous? I think I, I can't remember how many different colours. I just blended them together to get different effects. But something else you can do, because these are water-based, I'm just going to grab a bit of watercolour card. Uh, do excuse me, I'll be back. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on my own, so I can't disappear too long. Right, OK, so let me grab... Ooh, what colour shall we go with? Colour gallery. I haven't got the ice blue, I don't know where it is. Apricot, I'm hearing. Let's just put a little bit of the apricot on my mat there. See if I can find a clean brush. Oh, I'm running out of brushes. Oh, yeah, I've used them all, the stirrers, that's what it is. Right, there is colour on this brush. I don't know if it's going to come through or not, but what I'm going to do is actually just... Yeah, it's going to come through. Let me find a clean brush. Oh, I must have one somewhere. I must have a clean brush. I know where all my brushes are. I've just remembered. I, 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 <laughs> I cleaned them all. That's what I did. <laughs> I've got them. Ah, right. Who's, did, did I hear somebody say they wanted ice blue? Sh nobody saw that. I've just borrowed it. From, I'm just borrowing it. Nobody will notice. Nobody will notice because mine's disappeared. I don't know where it's gone. Oh, look at this. Shall shall we go? Shall we go with a bit of this one? Right. Okay. So let's let's start again. A little bit of the apricot. Just going to put that there. A little bit of the ice blue. Okay. That's probably too much, but there you go. Now, I have got, hopefully, a clean paintbrush. <laughs> I'm just going to mix the apricot, first of all. Yeah, it looks, looks a little bit cleaner, doesn't it? And then I'm going to go onto my background. This is watercolour card because I've, there's quite a lot of water. Now, obviously, I can really sort of wash this out or I could put more of the paste in there and have a much stronger effect. Now, the fact that I've gone with the the ice blue there as well. This is going to be quite pale as well. I'm using the same brush, so I probably will mucky it up a little bit. Actually, that's going to work really well. Let's just turn that around. And we'll go in from that end. OK, shall we, shall we go with a third colour? What, shall we go with a strong colour in the middle, do you think? Let's go with, oh, green or blue? I'm hearing blue, I'm hearing blue. Let's go for the... Oh, this is a beautiful blue. Actually, no, do you know what? I'm not. Do you know why? I've just remembered. I've got one I did earlier. Let's go green. Let's go green and then we'll come back to the blue. Okay. So let me just clean that brush a little bit. I've still got a little bit of blue in there, but that's fine. Let's go. A little bit more water. There we go. So, actually, you can blend these really, really well with your water. Now, obviously, that is very wet at the moment. That's why the card is curling. And you're not really picking up the shine there. But can you see it? Hopefully, you can. There you can see. Now, the more that dries, the more shimmery that's going to look. Now, the reason I stopped using the blue, the darker blue, was because I did this one earlier. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't that gorgeous? 
absolutely beautiful so that's in your second option this is your gift set you are getting six colors now if you want to use a very fine brush and paint detail into your stamped images you can paint with your stamped images as well you don't have to do backgrounds do your splatters you know pick up bits and pieces you know where you mix your colors together just try experimenting and you'll get lots of lovely effects so you've got as I put the lids on, let's go through these colours. So we've got the darker blue, which is your... That's the ink blue. Look at my hands. How did I do it? Janet didn't get like that, did she? The old gold. <laughs> that's the old silver, I think. Although it doesn't look silver, that's classed as old silver. That's a beautiful colour. The old gold is this one. The apricot is this one. That is gorgeous, that. The mint green is this one. And the ice blue is this one. All six of those. Or, of course, you can go for the glitters. If I just bring in again very quickly, just so you can see some of the colours, I've blended them together. This is how the glitter will set. There, you've got hologram, champagne, silver sapphire blue anthracite and gold in there and there's a bit of a blend going on there as well okay i've been using the stencils we have got lots of stencils but my favorites i've used on that particular um set there which were the three 12 by 12s or the 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter right now we have got some stamps uh, I, did, I wasn't given these until this morning and I haven't got a stamp block with me but I'm going to just try and stamp around the edge of this somewhere. There's a couple of things I want to do actually. So obviously if you're working with your ink, let's just go straight onto this background. Obviously if you're going with your ink, you know how to, to ink up a stamp and you can stamp. So I'm just going to use the acetate and just come in from the edge a little bit. Okay, so I should have borrowed one of the oil and cre acrylic blocks, shouldn't I? So I'm just building up a little bit of a frame there. Just using black ink, obviously you can use embossing powders as well if you've got your clear ink. I love flourishes, I think they're so, so useful. So useful. Okay, so let's just... There we are. We have, these are the <laughs> floral curlicues. And the curlicues. So the floral curlicues have got little flowers on them. But there is another way we can stamp because we've got another product that I want to share with you. So I'm just going to use this one stamp because I, all my others are stuck on uh, boards. But something I want to bring in, these were very busy the last time we brought them, are the mod, uh, not modelling, these are the... Um, no, these aren't the paints, these are the modelling creams. Now, these are a great product again. You do get five. Look at the price on these. You get in five pots with 100 millilitres in each. 15 99 for five pots. These are going to go a very, very long way. You can blend these colours together. You can do various different things with them. You can stamp with them as well. You can paint with them. You can use them as a paste through your stencils. Again, these will go onto multiple surfaces, porous and non-porous, and you can put these outside as well. That's what I love about Viva. Most of the products you can put outside. Now, I did mention earlier, I'm going to do a little bit with the stamps in a second, but um, I'm hoping this is dry. Because I did mention earlier that if you want to use the modelling uh, the modelling cream, you can also stencil onto fabric. Now, I did this. What time did I do this? I did this when Alex was with Rosella, so that must have been 5 o'clock, was it? No, 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock show. And then, yeah, in between Rosella and Alice, so between 4 and 5. That does feel like it's dried. Now, what I did say earlier was that with the modelling cream, look at that beautiful effect, I believe that if you've gone to fabric and scrunched the fabric up, that it doesn't crack, so we're testing it now because this is the first time I've done it. <laughs> there, look at that. I've just flattened that out a little bit. That has not flaked and cracked. So that is beautiful. Now, I don't know about washing it. I haven't tried it, but you can certainly stencil or paint onto your fabric and it stays flexible. 
to a point where you can I can really scrunch that up and it's not flaking and cracking. Now what I did also get, um, Rosella, I was I didn't get to see the show because I was busy, but Rosella had some fantastic products on. These are not sheets of card. I don't know the name. What was the name of the, of the show? They're still on the website. I know there were some sellouts of some colours. Uh, it was the four o'clock show. I believe you can sew this. You can stamp on it, paint it, emboss it, craft text. You can sew through this. So if you did see Rosella's show earlier on, this is the product that she was using. Now, I've got different colours. I, I do know some sold out because... Um, these are amazing. It feels like a faux leather. So you can cut it. I believe you can die cut it as well. But you can paint and stencil. And I thought the modelling cream would work really, really well with this. So we'll just have to show you this product, actually, because then, then I'm going to come back with the modelling cream. There's a lot of it on the website. So do have a look. There are books there as well. I'm just going to grab a stencil while you're looking at this. Um, yeah, this is... Oh, these are fab. They really, really are. Yeah, there's lots. Of, I think the coloured ones might be the ones that sold out. I'm not sure. If you try to put them in your basket and it doesn't work, then you know why. There we are. Now, these are the colours that Rosella's given me, so these are still available. Only $16.99. You're getting a lot there. These are pre-washed. Look what you can make. You can make all sorts of wonderful things. But if you want to stencil or paint on... The products I've got on this show will work beautifully on the craft text. You're getting a lot there. Do have a look at those. We'll come back to the modelling paste and we'll show you what you can do with it as well. So I am going to use some of the craft text. Before that, again, I've just got a piece of mount board here. I did this on the earlier show. I want to show you how this dried. This is the modelling paste. Look at the sheen that you get on this it's absolutely beautiful now I did do a little bit of a blend again there so it's more than one color it did go underneath the sense a little bit there but if you look you can see the texture that is absolutely beautiful so that's onto cardboard you've just seen it on the fabric now we're going to go onto the craft text so I'm going to go with another one of the big stencils Let's go with this one. I've got little cogs on the bottom there, but we'll do a, we'll do a little bit of a, a blend of colour again, because I like doing that. So you've got five different colours. You've got, I think it's anthracite. We'll, we'll make sure we've got these colours right. I'm going to take the lids off. These are all metallic. You've got silver, you've got gold, you've got bronze, copper, and I believe it's anthracite, the other one. Where's my gold gone? There it is. Right, now, again, with these products, give them a stir. Give them a stir. I've stirred these earlier, so they're fine to work with now. You might find, again, these are water-based, but you can use them on projects that go outside as well. The consistency is fantastic. Now, I did have an email come in earlier on, on the earlier show, and a lady, I think it was, forgotten her name actually uh, whoever it was um, I do apologize if you're watching and asked if you could put this into molds you can now this isn't fully dry but it will form a skin if you let it dry now if you were using something like a Zuri mold or a very deep mold it would take a long long time for that to dry but I think something like the Stamperia molds which aren't silicon, they're not made of silicon, it's, it's, it's more of a, a plasticky um, mould and they're not, they're not as thick. If you use it like you do your cream, your cream paste, your Stamperia paste, you can peel this away like a skin, it stays flexible, it looks amazing, so do think about using it that way as well. Now we have had a couple of other questions come in this hour. Uh, Sandy is asking, what is the best way of getting the jars clean? Right, okay, yeah. Don't 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 do what I do and just put the lids on. So let's go, let's pick one of the glitters up. Uh, if you have a look at this, you can see where it's dried on around the rim there. If I just tip it up a little bit, you can see it. If you don't clean that off, that's when your lid will start to stick. So I would say every time that you've used the pot, if, especially when you're scraping your spatulas into the pot, you are always going to get a little bit on the edge, just a damp cloth. Or use, use one of your sponges and clean the edge and then put it onto a background. Just keep it clean. If it does get sealed on, 
then do the trick with the hot water, as I said, and that will help release it. Uh, we've had another question from Elaine. Elaine is asking, can you use the azonacetate? Yes, you can. That's been done before. Uh, so, yeah, lovely to have those questions. Right, so we're going back to the craft text. That's a little bit sticky, that. Uh, stencil from something it's had on previously. I'm going to turn that over because it will help hold that down. I'm going to use my very, very well-used spatula and I am going to use all five colours because I love doing the blend but it also helps you see the different colours. Now I'm going onto the black and we have got the anthracite but that doesn't matter. I'm going to start with the silver. I don't want too much actually because I'm going to mix these. It, th this consistency is absolutely beautiful. Now, I've got a top tip for everybody as well. And I did do this on the earlier uh, show. If you saw me using the cog stencil, it was, absolutely, it was already plastered with modelling paste. It was dried on and then I just topped it up. If you want to clean your stencils and you cannot get off whatever is on your stencils, you don't want to be scrubbing at them hard because you might catch those little bits of mylar and spoil them. But what you can do, get a dishwasher tablet in some nice hot water and dissolve it and let your stencils sit in that water and it will start to lift away. It works because I did it earlier. I've got a little bit of a skin there. Just pick that up. Right, so I'm just going to go with a little bit of colour in various areas. Now, we're busy on the modelling cream. Um, very busy. Honestly, just experiment with this. This is going to last such a long time. I'm using the smallest amount here. So a little bit of the silver. Just trying to wipe off as much as I can. Let's go for... Should we go for the... This is the copper, I think. Yeah, this is the copper. Let's go copper next. Now, I am purposely working over some of the areas that I've already been. I'm going to also work on areas where I've not been at all because I want to see those blends. Remember, this is the craft text, so when this is dried, because I know this will remain flexible, I could cut this up and make something from it. I could stitch it with my sewing machine. In fact, I'm going to take this home with me and try and find time to do something with it. I'm going to make something. A little coin purse or something like that would work. Right, so we've gone there with... What did I say? That was the bronze, I think that one was. Copper's more orangey, isn't it? This is the copper, I think. You're getting them all anyway. I think the copper is the more orangey one. Let's go with copper next. You can see the difference between the bronze and the copper. And again, I'm leaving some areas one colour and other areas I'm just kind of blending the two together. I love doing this because it always looks such a mess and you think, oof, what's she doing? It's such a mess, such a mess, but it works. Okay, right, then let's go with, try not to contaminate my pots, that's why I'm trying to clean these off. Let's go with the gold next. Where haven't we been? I've not been there. There we are. Let's just blend a little bit more into the colours we've got. Okay, then we've just got one more to go. We've got anthracite. Now, obviously, the colour of the car of the craft text that I've got is quite dark. Oh, I don't want to waste that. You see, this is again where I'll go onto my sponge and then put it on the background. So I'm now going with the anthracite, but because I've kept that until last, I can then blend that in with the other colours. So we will see a difference. So I'm going to put too much of this one on. Didn't put a great deal of silver on, but. You know, it is there. So we've now got a really nice mix. Shall we do a reveal? Let's see how this looks. Oh, nice. Nice. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. I want that on my wall. <laughs> That is, that is very baroque. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. Now, and 
the more that dries, the more you'll see the sheen coming through. It is so worth blending those colours. You'll get a different effect every single time. Oh, we're running out of time. I've got so much more I wanted to do as well. Uh, right, let's have... A little reminder of some of the new things. So we have got lots on the website as well, but let's have a look at those stamps. I know I haven't really done much with the stamps. You can also stamp with the modelling cream that I've just used as well. Um, as I give you the details there, 998, you've got choices here. So you've got your curly cues, uh, you've got your butterflies, and you've also got your flowers as well. Right, I'm doing something very weird while you can't see me just in case I've got time. We've also got the mediums for you as well. So let, we've only got the two options. So we've got the glittery option. And we've also got, yes, we've got also the one. Ah, oh, these are wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, lots of beautiful colours there. Do go for those. Do go for those. The Rustic and Patina, another fantastic product. Use this on multiple surfaces. Use it inside, outside, it doesn't matter. There you can see. You get all the sponges as well. 999-970-802. Then you've got your stencils. Now, there's far more stencils than the ones I've just been using, don't forget, as well. But the three that I've just been using, I absolutely adore these. These are my go-tos. I love these. These work so well with the Blanche products as well. You've got your stencils there, 22.99. All three of them, 166.574. And then you've got your A4 stencils. Uh, we'll just have a look at those. Now these, you get a lot for your money here because you've got two in one with the leaves and the birds and then you've got four in one with the uh, the leaves there. Then we have these stencils as well. We've got for you there, I love the vintage clock. You've also got the windrows, which we discovered last time we had these on. Is exactly what you're seeing there. It's not a compass, it's your windrows. Okay, then we have the glitter pen set. Remember these come with the different applicators. The, the pen set itself, or the tube, has a very nice fine nozzle on it, but you've got two more nozzles in there which make them even finer and super fine. 1497, you're getting all three sets there. 208965. The modeling cream. If you've never tried this, go for it. We are limited stock. Limited stock on that. Oh, I love these. 1599279380. And then we've got one more thing to show you, I believe. Which is, oh, I love this. You've seen me probably use this before. We haven't used it today, but this is an amazing product. Again, only 12 901602 Right, because I'd still got the modelling paste out, um, I just, well, I'm just spreading a bit on a sponge, to be honest. <laughs> at the minute <laughs> and I'm going to take that sponge onto my stamp now you have to do this quite quickly because it does dry quickly and you must wash your stamps out but you can you so can stamp with this so let's just go into this corner here this is the background that I painted earlier I haven't got a stamping block I do apologize so I'm probably gonna smudge it but just to show you that you can also stamp with the modeling cream and that effect as it dries is going to be absolutely beautiful my top tip there would be use a stamping platform with your sponge so that you don't smudge or have a proper block not like me do check those baskets out don't miss out oh, that's the end of my day i've had a lovely day today oh thank you for staying with me we've got janet coming up next with uh, of course the one day special Oh, we've got the expert with stencils now. Do stay with us for Janice. Uh, sorry, I keep calling her Janice. Janet and Alex. Then we've got Jewelry Designs at nine, then another hour with All and Create at ten. Hi, I'm Abs from All and Create. I've been crafting for over ten years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, of colours, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. 
are how to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Oland Create shows. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. Our MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows. For the past six years, Achanda's been your home of crafts, hobbies, and arts. We've got some exciting news. We've got a brand new name. From April the 1st, we'll be changing our name to The Craft Store. This will make it easier for you to find us when scrolling through your TV channel guides and searching for us online. Nothing else is changing. We'll be the same Achanda that we've always been. We're, We're just getting, getting a brand new name. Demonstration-led, full of inspiration and variety, with our own dash of personality. Welcome to The Craft Store, your home of everything craft. It's one day special time. We had a super busy launch earlier on at six o'clock. Do have a little look on Rewind. Uh, how are you doing, Janet? I'm good, thank you. Good stuff. Really excited. Uh, I feel like it's been a while since we've worked together, actually. It has, yeah. yeah, it has yeah. been a little, a little while. while. Yeah. Nice. Right, so what we have got for you, and by the way, 40% of the stock has already gone and we had a deep stock. What we've got is uh, you've got your four fabulous stencils. So you've got your stars and semicircles. Plus, you are getting one fabulous die. They're so usable, aren't they, Janet? They're all, I think I said earlier, I think stencils are one of the things that are the most versatile product a crafter can have. Yes. Because you can do so much with them. So you can, um, you can ink through them, you can spritz through them, you can use them with paints, you can use them with jelly plate, um, you can draw with them, you can emboss them on an embossing machine. So right. I have done that with them loads of stuff yeah. excellent and then this fabulous die oh this is a nice little board you've done this for us beautiful, yeah. so oh. this is sorry <laughs> yeah no i was going to say i really like this i love the shape of it i love the composition so it's one solid die isn't it it's one die and then the yeah. stars that are on there have, have come, popped out so they're kind of the bits that you pop out when you uh, from the middle so you've got those sort of the, the, officially the waste i guess but obviously you're not going to waste them you can use them on your projects as well so this is a beautiful i yeah. said earlier again this reminds me of like a child's nursery rhyme <laughs> the kind of image so oh, i think I it would work mean. really well with children's sort of uh, projects but also of course you can use it with all your mixed media and all your all your cards and projects as well it's absolutely and I, I you could paper piece this back in i feel you could. it's really lovely right then so we've got some um fabulous samples let's not take that one. not that one no i didn't think so i was looking at it going <laughs> hey, hey right here we are um okay let's show some samples here we go so here we can see using a little bit of the die cut like so uh, and then we've got some lovely features yeah, in the, the background. Yeah, the stencils in the background as well. Um, yes. Oh, they're the diamond stencils that we had on earlier. Yeah, uh, that's the another. There. Yeah. yeah, that is another one. All available. Do go to the website. And then we've got this one. I should just say this one's been done by Kelly because it's nice to name everybody, isn't it? it is, yeah. yeah. And then this one has been done by um, Heather. See, that's cool. Oh, so I think she's popped. There's a little bit of maybe glossy accents or something in there. Yeah, it looks like it. And I think she's she's paper pieced those back in, hasn't she as well? So. Yeah. Lovely. Nice way to use it. This one is also by Heather, so we can see a little bit of um, texture paste going on through the stencil. 
Yeah, and lots of layering as well. So she's used the large stencil and the small stencil over the top. So it's, it's nice to be able to use them both together to get your layers and uh, nice effects with them. Excellent. Now, as ever, I will show loads more samples because I realise that although we've got your one-day special, which is £44.95 with a £7 saving, and, of course, it's on your flexi-buy payment, two payments of £22.48, but we've also got a complete collection, which then includes the stamps, which they work in total harmony, don't they, Janet? Yeah, absolutely. So the stencils and, and the stamps have all been designed by Abs, and he, he started this... Um, probably about two years ago with, with circles um, and they were so popular that he's just mm. expanded the range and gone into bigger stencils and now stamps um, and they all work together and we've got the beautiful stars which, sorry Abs, will work really nicely for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they will indeed. Um, I think if you pick those three, the big three in the middle there of the large one and just pop them on a nice background with some yep. sparkle, they'd be lovely for Christmas. Um, and you've got the stamps as well, so these just match in and you can use these for all sorts of things. Obviously they, they tone in perfectly uh, with, the, with the stencils. They well. do. I'm just showing you the stamps here, so let's bring this one in. Wonderful with the stars and the semicircles. Loads of detail in this. These are lovely. So these are um, designed by Vipasha to kind ah. of work with ab stamps. Um, and she's put all her words through and you have to read the words, they do make sense, they're not just um, random words put in there, so they are sort of sentences and phrases that she puts in. And I love these, these are the uh, scripted mm. um, uh, stars and they're just fabulous. I'm fabulous just reading stars. actually, so one of the things that says here, look, uh, dwell on the beauty of a starry sky. Yeah. Oh, it's really thoughtful, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Uh, and then again, with your semicircles, you've got lots of script running through. Yeah, so again by Bipasha to go with the with the stencils. Yeah. Um, yeah, just another trademark Bipasha's design. I, these are so lovely. These are just really nice stamps to use. Amazing. And then we've got one more here. Again, you go onto your semicircles. So, I mean, gosh, how did he do those get? <laughs> and yet you can see they are semicircles, can't you? I was just saying earlier, they're not just little blobs. You yeah. can definitely see that they are semicircles. Um, so the detail in there is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, amazing. Right then, so more samples here. Uh, so we are now over 80% of the stock gone of the complete collection. If you become a Freedom member, you get a further discount. This one is by Heather. So that's beautiful. Uh, she's done the colours beautifully. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful. And matches your outfit, Alex. Oh, How it nice does, is that? <laughs> I like it, I like it. This one's been done by the lovely Jo Rice. Yeah. Nice. What else have we got here? So I've got, um, let me go back to some stars. Hang on a second. Let me just pop this down. Because the design team are fabulous. There yeah. we go. Uh, this one's done by Kelly. Again, we've got some beautiful texture going on. So, yeah, so Kelly loves her big, bold colours, but they, it looks fantastic with the white as well. So Does. It's just beautiful. I mean, oh, my, gosh, look at the detail in this, doodled. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, this, is, this is me. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> this is what I spend my time doing. <laughs> it is Doodling. fabulous. Yeah. Look so at again, that. just picked out the, the elements of the stars that I wanted um, and uh, added some of the, the little stars there are from uh, the waste from the, from the dye as well. So yeah, and just doodled through. Super cool. Got a few more. So this one is by Kelly. Nice. Here we go. Yeah. So she's used the dye sort of coming in from the corners there as well as the stencils in the background. Fab. And then let's do one more. And as ever, I'll show loads more samples as we go through the show. Beautiful. That one is by Philippa. You've got a big... Yeah. Uh, there's a big design team yeah, now, isn't there? Yeah, we just had some new members. So ah. hello all the new members. So we've got... Um, there's uh, Joe, Rice, Debbie and Corrie were the original three and yes. me. And then we've got Philippa, Heather, Kelly and... Ah, and you want to forget someone, Joe Elliot. <laughs> there we go, brilliant <laughs> as well. Yeah. Now um, this is excellent because we've managed to put this on three flexies instead of two. So for just your first instalment today of twenty pounds and ninety-seven pence, you are going to get your complete collection with your four stencils and yes, five. Uh, no, one die and then four of your stamps, that's it. Three payments of £20.97. We are over 80% of the stock gone. 589096 is your item number. Now, we do have um, another stamp. Right, so this one sold out earlier, but we have got it back on extended delivery um, from the 22nd of April. Um, so you've got an extra discount on this because there is a slight typo, isn't there? There is. So the one near your hand there, it says when one door closes, another one's open. Right, it, OK. It's sort of one open. So there is just that little typo. Um, but 
I have to say, for, especially as, with the discounted yeah. price. Um, and the, the, the sayings on there, the other sayings on there are absolutely fabulous as well. I can just imagine Ab sitting there one evening just <laughs> thinking of all these wonderful sayings. Um, and, um, but also the background elements in there as well, the other elements, the circles, the crosses, um, the numbers that are in there. There's all sorts of lovely things here, stars as well, which yeah. obviously go with the stencils from today. And I, this, I, this is really hot off the press, this stamp. It's only... I only had it, got it on Thursday, and I've just so enjoyed yeah. playing with it. It's just a fabulous stamp set. What have we got? Eat cake to stay safe. The more you weigh, the harder you are to kidnap. Yeah. <laughs> um, honesty is the best policy, but insanity is the best defence. Yeah. Um, There's one about being a, an upgrade, a, a, a software upgrade along the edge. Along the edge. Uh, oh, yeah, you remind me of a software update. Whenever I see you... I think not now. <laughs> That's so true. Um, so uh, there you go. It's just twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. Very very busy for this one. One zero two one three seven is your item number. Do give us a call. Oh one seven double three six zero two thousand. Or please do go to uh, thecraftstore.com in order to check out your baskets. Now of course you can shop by brand. So do go and find all and create. Um, we've got so much more on there. Fabulous five-star reviews. We've got returning favourites. Uh, yes, the crescents, the diamonds, the triangles. Uh, yeah, the range really is growing very, very nicely. And then we've also got loads of stamps for you, of course. Um, if you missed... Oh, right, we've got... Apparently, we've got a, a nice pick and mix of stamps. Uh, Janet Klein stamps. So you can choose any six or any three or any two or any five. Oh, there's lots of, uh, lots of options for you there. And as I said, great five-star reviews on so many of the products. Right, I'm going to hand over to you then, Janet. OK, lovely. So I'm starting off um, just with this sample. So I thought we'd uh, just show you a different way of using the, the stencils. And I just, <laughs> I just thought I'd pop a little cat inside each of the stars there. So I start off, I'm just going to um, use my stars. And I'm going to add some ink, just move that out of the way, onto my stencil. So I'm doing this mostly around the big stars where I want them to go. Oops, don't know what that is. And the nice thing about the, obviously you've got the two sizes of the stencil, but the nice thing is that the, um, you can use them for different things. So you. I would say you might think, oh, well, I only do big projects or little projects, so you'd buy the appropriate size stencil. But actually, you can use the big one quite happily on smaller projects as well. So it doesn't have to be, you know, you, once I only do scrapbook pages, so I need the big one, and I only do cards, so I need the small one. You'd use them both for everything. So let's pop that on there. I like this the technique best. a lot. Yeah, I'm a bit... Oh, I've done it the wrong way around, never mind. Um, I'm a bit hit and miss with this, so uh, I'm just putting that out there before I do the reveal, just in case. <laughs> Sometimes it works better than others. Uh, now, we are approaching limited stock on the complete collection. Wow, it's absolutely flying out the door. Don't forget, you've also got that freedom discount and three flexes instead of two. So you just let that um, sink I'm in, I'm just letting you? that sink in. And then the tissue just absorbs any water that squelches out over the edge into this bit. You just absorb with the tissue. So there isn't a lot of that, so I'm hoping, <laughs> hoping that... Oh, yes, that looks OK. So, yeah, nice. That looks really super That's cool. cool. So obviously I haven't put quite as much water on this area by accident, but yep. it looks good, I think. So that's yep. quite nice. So I'm just going to leave that to dry, and then I'm going to do it with the um, semicircles as well, just to show you what they look like, because I think it's good to see both. Yes, I like these semicircles. So useful. Semicircles are amazing. I was... Yeah. To be, um, if I'm going to be brutally honest, I wasn't on, so impressed with semicircles. I, I love some of the other shapes, but having them and working with them, yeah. they are amazing. I've absolutely loved working with them, They're so um, I take it all back. <laughs> <laughs> they are a fantastic shape to work with. So again, to get taken... So just, you want quite a lot of ink on here. And then it's quite nice to do two colours, so mm -hmm. it kind of gives you a bit of a blend. And it doesn't Probably. harm the ink pad, doing that? No, you can wipe them off. Um, 
I probably should have done the lighter colour first, if we're being correct about it. But and then you want quite a lot of water, uh -huh. um, so that the ink. If you put where's my one I've done earlier. If you put a lot of water on, you get this sort of effect. If you put less on, mm. um, you get that sort of more splotchy effect. So let's see what happens. Yep, that looks really cool. <laughs> That in there. And again, just allowing it to just sink into the Just allow it to card. sink in and just give it a press. Yep. Soak up the... I'm hoping that's not going to happen. You can have just a really nice fun day of making tons you of can, backgrounds. Yeah, yeah, you can. And the, it's, the more you obviously do the techniques, the better you sort of... It's everything with practice, isn't it? So yeah. don't be disheartened if, if when you do it the first time it doesn't work because it, it didn't work for any of it. Obviously, that one hasn't come out quite as well. I didn't add quite as much water to it. But I, that's not to say you wouldn't use it yeah. and you can fill in the gaps with, um, with stamping. It's come out a bit paler. But, yeah, still use that. So I'm going to pop that to one side as well. It's nice, though, to keep layering, isn't it? So even it though is, yeah. you could go in again. Oh, yeah, you could. You could go in again with the smaller stencil, mm -hmm. do it again. You could... Um, I would allow that to dry before I did that, though, so I just need that to dry. And then I'll just see if this one's quite dry, really. <laughs> I'll just dab it. I wouldn't yeah, normally leave it all to dry, but i just dab it so that I can use it. Mm -hmm. I'm really liking these, actually, because you can really see their nice little stars. I'm really, I know. Really they're, nice. they're just so diddy. I can't yeah. believe how small it's gone. OK, I can tell you that green will be appearing on the screen. There it is, because we have gone limited stock with our complete collection. Super, super busy out there. Please make sure you're checking out your baskets to secure it. I do not want you to miss out on this fab collection. So useful. This is the sort of thing, um, collection, that you keep out on your craft table all the time yeah absolutely they, they're so useful um, and you've got all the backgrounds you've got all the stencils mm. there and you can just have an absolute whale of a time with them um, so this um, I just want to do some edging I want to do my cats but in here but I just want to wait until that dries a bit more before I do that so I'm just going to do my edging while I, I wait for this bit to dry okay hopefully <laughs> um, so I'm using some of the background elements from this fantastic set um, from abs the, uh, the wisecracks, and I was saying earlier, this is one of my all-time favourite sets. I absolutely love it. I've only had it a few days, and I'm just having so much fun with it. It's just an amazing set, and I was really worried when it sold out earlier because it's in all my demos. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, like, oh, no. <laughs> what am I going to do? But um, but we've got it back, thank goodness. So that's fine. And I really like adding circles around the edges and I, I quite like adding more than one together it's not quite nice to have circles kind of overlapping yeah so I'm just gonna do that and it's also good to turn the stamp around so you're not using exactly the mm. same part of the stamp all the time so it, it, it looks a little bit different because you've got your nice little splotchy bits here as yeah. well yeah a little bit of a distressed look I like yeah. it I might do a third one then I won't do one here Excellent. Details are on screen for this stamp. Just £12.99. Really good price. 24 stamps there. Yeah, and they're all amazing, I have to say. Yeah, really I like that stamps. it's called Wisecracks. Yeah. Because it is. <laughs> it is. Yeah, some good sayings on there. Uh, just do one more at the top. OK. Even it up. Yep. Perfect. Pop that one back. And then because you've popped it around the edges, it just draws your eye in, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. And I, I just, it's circles around edges are things I really like. Mm. Now you've got this lovely set of numbers as well, if I can find them. Um, and I just thought rather than using them straight, I would use them around the edges as well and put them all around in different areas. Yep. So pop that there. And what ink are you using there? This is just Versafine. Right. Just uh, ordinary Versafine. I mean, you get such a lovely print from the stamps, you don't do. you? And because these um, generally all and create are detailed stamps, so Versafine brings out the detail, so it's a nice, nice one to use with yep. these. It's almost like, um, it's like the numbers at the bottom of a barcode, isn't it? Yeah, and I'm just going to show you. That's why I've got a spare bit of card. Because I didn't know. <laughs> Oh, no, all my cards are rubbish, but never mind. No, don't you um, worry. So you can fit in the numbers. So if you stamp the numbers... OK. And then there's this 
I, I don't know what shape this is. I'm trying to think how I would describe that, and I don't really know. Um, that shape. <laughs> um, a rounded, a rounded rectangle, rectangle how about thing. That? Yeah. Um, and that actually fits the numbers. So if you go into there, you can just pop your numbers in there. And that fits That's it really perfect. nice. It's just perfect. And, and then you could cut that out as well and you could put glossy accents on that and use yeah. it as a little embellishment for your projects as well. Fab. Okay, we didn't do that this time. So then I'm going to use this beautiful star on here as well. So this is just one of those stamp sets that is never ever going to leave my desk. Oh no. <laughs> it's going to stay there forever. It's really and cool. I, I can just pop elements in all over the place. So useful. Yeah. I mean, stars, any occasion really. Stars are. I was just thinking yeah. that in the car on the way over when I was thinking about the shapes. And stars just fit in with anything, don't they? You can do stars for almost any occasion. Yeah, celebrations, yeah. maybe past year exams yeah. or anything like that. Or, any, just, or any, even birthday. Yeah, anything. Uh, and then we've got more numbers. So this lovely number three as well, which I really like. I always worry. Number three is one of those I always get backwards. That's right, isn't it? You always get what? Sorry. <laughs> backwards. I know I'm what you mean. <laughs> oh, especially yeah. when I have to think about it. I'm alright if I just do it, but if I'm to think about it, I think, oh no, I've got that wrong. Yeah, I'm um. so like that. I totally understand <laughs> what you mean. So we can just put that around as well. Yep. And these don't even show up all that much sometimes, but they just all add interest into the background. So Definitely. you can just pop little bits and pieces here and there all over the place. Layering is just so popular. Layering is really popular. Um, and then I'm going to use as well, this has dried off a bit now, um, my fantastic um, lined um, wrong one. <laughs> you be I was so organised, but everything's in the wrong place. So this is the lovely uh, scripted stars. Yep. Um, Stencil, which is a fantastic background stencil um, and it's really it's one of those that you just again use for everything and most of these stamps I very rarely stamp out as a whole <laughs> they're one of these that I always just use bits of um, but they are really nice stamped out as a whole as well so if you do want to use yeah. them well, obviously they work really well as well I'm just trying to have a look there's a lots about like they're saying love the stars um, I really liked that one about dwell on the beauty, on of, the the beauty story. of the story. Yeah, that's yeah. really, really nice. So it's really, really lovely and well thought out. The shine, starry, uh, and loads again of like, detail with numbers as well as the writing. Yeah, so this is a bit passionate. She always does lots of, lots of extra bits, numbers, bits and pieces in there. So that's there. And what else have I added to that? Um, so I'm going to do my cats now. I think this is dry enough to I do those. I love this, Mr. Cat. So what I've done is I've just used um, some masking tape. This is why it had to be dry. And I've just popped that along the edge of my star. Um, I'm just going to show everybody at home a picture, actually, of these okay. fabulous stamps uh, with the cats. Here we go. It's just coming onto the screen. Uh, now, it's £36.96. and pence. You've got cats, you've got the lovely houses, you've got the people. Uh, so you're getting all of them, 30 stamps in total. Um, so, yeah, you've got your tall cats, our house, material girl and cataday. I like that name. Yeah, cataday. Nice. Okay, 185334 if you want to go for those. Cool, we're coming to you now. Come back to me. So, yeah, so these are the tall cats. So these are fantastic stamps. So these are all by Janet Klein. Right. Um, and she's done um, a series of sort of tall, elegant figures. So we've got, they're probably being one of the pick and mixes from Janet. The tall ladies, which is called Housewives. Then we've got the gentlemen, which I think is in one of these sets as well. Yeah. Um, and then we've got the tall cats. And I love the sort of tall, elegant shape of them. So I thought I'd pop them inside my little star. So these are nice big apertures that mm -hmm. you can actually put people through. So I'm just going to just pop this there as well. So I've done a bit of, this is, <laughs> this is some masking tape. So I've just masked off this bit, but I don't want this to come down past here either. So I'm just going to pop a bit of paper over there just to stop that happening. And then I'm going to pop this in here. So he's looking Aww. that way. So elegant. Oh, I love cats. I, was, I have to say, I always miss my cat when I'm yeah, away. Yeah, do you? Yeah. yeah. 
Cool. He's looking over there, and the eight won't he's be in star. there because he's he's not going to be shown. Mm -hmm. There we are. And we've got some sentiments in there as well. Yes, so there's some nice, there's, there's, the dog did it. Yeah, yeah, that's, it. that's definitely <laughs> Which is my favourite one. I like that because that's exactly what cats are like. Oop. No, it was a bit wet still, so it's stuck. Never mind. That's all right, can't tell. No, that's true because it's a... Yeah, that's fine. Oh, look, he's inside that star. So that he just pops star. him inside the star. Yep. So then we just mask off this one. That does look really cool. And you could do these with any of the shapes that, um, obviously, that you've got. The bigger ones, especially. That's why it's nice to have the bigger ones, because yep. you can do this kind of thing with them. It's just a bit of tissue gone. Cool. Starting and they've to all... get a bit chaotic now. <laughs> and they've all got a nice personality, haven't they? They have. And I just thought he's looking up, looking at him. Yep. Yes, looks good. It's their expression on their faces. I know, they're really good. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll just do the last one. Uh-huh. Who's going in here? They all need names. I wonder if they do have names. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if they have names. Do you know where in the world Janet Klein is? She's in America. Is she? Right. Uh, she's in a hot part of America. Oh, sounds good. <laughs> but I'm not exactly sure where. I want to say Texas, but I'm not sure. Ah, okay. um, That might not be right. No worries. So we've got our last little cat and here. So our last little cat just going to pop in there. There you go. There you go. I like all of their different patterns of their fur. Yeah, and as you say, the expressions on their faces are really cute as well. Yeah. And he's got a little patch on his eye. Cute. Mm. It's just that one bit must have been a bit damp. But we'll carry on. That's oh. all good. It all adds to the <laughs> texture of I'll it. I'll put my sentiment over there. That's yep. what I'll do. Um, and then to make this stand out, because obviously the stars sort of blend into the background, what I've done is I've put my stencil back over here. I quite often have mounts left on the board and then wonder why everything's uneven. So I've just popped my stencil back over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this and will I'll really do, make him stand out. I'll just do one of these because obviously it takes a bit of time. And then I'm just drawing around. Now, when you draw around this one, if you've got the stencil in place, okay. there's a bit of a tendency, if you do it come in this way, that you'll just career off down here. Yes. So it's probably better. I don't because I'm really... <laughs> I, I give other people good advice, but I just largely ignore, ignore it myself. Um, and, oops. And then it's probably better to go that way. Okay, that makes sense. And then sense. you won't go careering off the edge. That's a good expression. <laughs> <laughs> cool, and then he will really stand and out. He hopefully will yeah. pop out. Well, I, don't I should do this bit. more with stencils with a micron yeah, pen. Yeah, no, definitely. Yep. It's one of the things I do a lot. Well, you're doodling. I'm <laughs> uber impressed with that. Uh, see, I'm, I'm quite... Because I, I don't like cutting out. I, I hate, hate all that detailed cutting out. And yet I can sit, yeah. and, sit and doodle for hours. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Um, and then just to make it stand out a bit more as well, I've just gone round with, um, with a pencil just to, just to highlight it. Do you, do you enjoy colouring as well? Or oh, maybe yeah, yeah. Doodling? No, I like colouring. That's cool. Anything like that I enjoy, it's just cutting out, I really don't. I don't know why. No, well, it's really relaxing though, isn't it, colouring? I do so much yeah. of it myself. Uh, remember, our complete collection, it is very, very limited. Do check out your basket, it's fantastic that it has got um, boo, 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 uh, three flexies and a freedom discount. We'll show you a bit more in a second when uh, Janet's just finished yeah. it. I've nearly done this one now. So then that one stands out, and then um, I've got my sentiment, and I'm going to use, to make mistakes is human, to blame someone else is for your, was it? To make mistakes is human, to blame someone else for your problem is strategic, which <laughs> I think is rather good. And yeah. I thought, as they were cats, and they kind of, on my original one, 
because I've done, I've had the stencil the other way out. Uh -huh. So they're all sort of looking at each other. And I'm like, to bl to, they're all like blaming each other for their mistake that they've. That was in my head what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So I've just stamped that out, cut it out, and, yep. uh, and edged it. Oh, and I've just had some texture paste. So we'll just do that if I can. Uh, and I've used what have I used for that? The smaller stamp. So I've used the small starry one. Okay. Yeah, it's nice that he's Abs has put in, you know, the large and the small. Oh, definitely. You, yeah. you definitely need both, and you definitely need all the shapes. Absolutely. <laughs> I wonder what shapes he's going to come out with next. Oh, we're having bets. Are we were you? on the design team earlier. We were having a little. I'd like him to do this shape and that shape. Yeah. Um, and we were giving him names as well. So oh, mine cool. is hearts, Abs. Yes. Um, yeah. So I've got the name. So <laughs> it's heaps of hearts for the six by six and hot for hearts for the A7, A4. Very cool. <laughs> hot, hot for hearts, that's what you need. <laughs> um, and the other girls were, were thinking as well. So we've, we've started on, it's on, on the way. He's got the names for them and the designs for the shapes. Good stuff. And then it's nice just to add in the corners, a little bit of texture paste coming through as well. Yeah. And even these teeny weeny weeny little hearts, I don't know if... Uh, not show up very well on there, but you can see they are hearts. Yeah. Uh, sorry, stars. <laughs> so I've got yes, hearts it's on the brain now. About it. <laughs> Sorry, we'll have to get hearts now, Abs. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and you can still see that they are stars. So, yeah, stars. Uh, where have I done those? So I've done one there, one there. So I'll pop one in here as well. And that just adds a little bit of texture to help um, add a bit of more interest to the thing. So. That's that. I'll just be in my finished one so you can see what that all looks like when it's all done. Yep. Dusted. Marvellous. Loving that. Thank you very much, Janet. Okie doke. Right. I shall do a recap. Okie dokie. So a reminder of the official one day special, which is your fabulous two A4 stencils. And then you've got the smaller set stencils. Six by six, and then you've got this. I love the die. I absolutely love the die. It's wonderful. In fact, I will show you uh, the size of the die. So here it is. And then I've also got the, the, the board. I like that it's all one piece and it's really good for your paper piecing. Ah, there it is. Just looking for the board. Here we go. Let's bring this in. It's fab, isn't it? Just look at all of that detail. Loving that. And of course, it goes with the stencils fantastically. So look at all the detail in the stencils as well. Really, really cool um, because we've got all of those semicircles and they go so, so diddy. It's brilliantly done. Look at that. So there are your two A4s. And then we come on to the um, six by sixes. Lovely. Loads of detail. And then let's do samples. Okie doke. So this one is by Heather. Again, I love what, um, what she's done. Lots of lots of layering. And then the die cut at the front. Lovely, beautiful colours. And then a little bit of the glossy accents just in here. Uh, here you can see using the stencil. This one is by Kelly. Loads of detail again. Ah, uh, I see. This one's by Joe, uh, Joe Elliott, and um, we've got just a, a really nice distressed look of the stencil. Of course, teaming it with some of All and Create's other stamps. Oh, this is cool. So this one, who's this one by? This one's by Debbie, and again, she's used that two couple of different colours in the background. So really layering up the stencil imagery, and then teaming it with another stamp on there. Uh, what else have we got? <laughs> Here's some more of the stars. Brilliant, with our lovely little characters in the background. Do have a look on the website for more of those. Uh, who's that by? That one's by Corrie. Ah, yes, because Corrie's fantastic at colouring. This one is by Philippa. Nice texture going on here, which is really pretty. Uh, going back to our semicircles, this one is by Heather. Um, and I believe you'll find um, loads of samples as well on... Now, have I got this right um, with um, Abs' Facebook page? All create fanatics, that's it's called. It. It's a group on Facebook, yeah. Nice. So do have a look there. Right, so if you want to go for your one-day special, you can spread the cost. Two payments of £22.48. Uh, 453727. However, the complete collection is hanging on by a thread. So that is your stencils, your die, but then you'll also get the corresponding stamps. And we like these. There's lots and lots of detail to them. They're a nice size, actually. I really like this size. Okay, so let's show this. Mm -mm. Hang on, let's get it the right way. So here's our fabulous script with the stars. 
Um, oh, sorry, we're just looking there. I, I rushed ahead then. Apologies. So there you go. And then I can show you the stamps themselves. So you've got some that are really, really work. Well, they all work well. I don't know what I'm talking about with the stencils. But here you've got the beautiful text in the background. Shine, starry. It's quite romantic, actually. Very, very nice indeed. Um, landmarks, universes on there. It's all been really thought out. Then we've also got the one with the script on... Let me just put this the right way around. On your semicircles. Uh, so you've got inspiration comes from within yourself. Um, what else have we got on here? Mm, Walt Whitman uh, is giving you a nice quote. So that's fabulous. So that's the scripty one. Loads more on there, obviously. So you can have a little peruse when you get them home. Uh, then we've got our semicircles. They can go either way. It doesn't matter which way around you're stamping it. You can do what you like. It's your choice, your creativity. But look how diddy those, they are actually semicircles that are really diddy. It's amazing. And then last but not least, here we go. We've got the stars. Again, the stars go really, really diddy. Oh, news flash. We have now just technically sold out of the complete collection. Okay. So, okay. Apparently, um, we have spoken to abs and we can get some more. Okay, that will now be dispatched from the 22nd of April. So obviously just to give Abs a little bit more time to get the stock together. Uh, so you can go for the complete collection. Okay, £69.91 with a £7 saving. However, you've got it on Freedom and three Flexibuy payments, which is a cracking, cracking deal. Uh, item number is 589096. Then we've got our Wise Cracks. OK, this is also going to be dispatched from the 22nd of April because it's sold out earlier. Very, very busy indeed. Uh, so remember, there's a special price because there's just a little typo on here. It just says ones instead of one. Um, but, you know, uh, it's, it's, you're loving the stamps anyway, so don't worry too much. Uh, keep the dream alive. Hit the snooze button. Yes, that sounds good to me. Um, I'd rather have a bottle in front of me. Then a frontal lobotomy. <laughs> so fun. Uh, I like the eat cake to stay safe. The more you weigh, the harder you are to kidnap. And then again, you've got the circles. Uh, there's the three on there. You've got your stars. So it all works fantastically. That then is just twelve ninety nine. You've got a five pound saving. There's a lot of stamps on there. Twenty four, in fact. Item number is one zero two one three seven. Okie dokie. Uh, right, a previous bundle that's been on before, but you may have missed out on it. Okie dokie. Yes, yes, we've got our fabulous diamonds in this one and the crescents. That's what we've got in this set. Plus, you've also got um, that fabulous flower stencil. Um, and what are we calling this one? I've forgotten. What's this one called? Uh, hexagons and buds. Marvellous. That's what we've got going on there. Uh, so we've got some wonderful samples. Again, remember, you, get, you can see you've got this. I wouldn't be talking. So two A4, two six by six and two A6. Excellent. That's good. A look at these samples. There's so many as well. In this course, cool. so this is by Philippa and uh, she's made some ATCs. That looks cool, doesn't it? With the crescents there. Nice. Oh, and this one's got the... Um, Oh, this one's by Debbie, and it's got those beautiful florals. I, I, th I feel there's something a little bit Art Deco about that. Isn't that lovely and colourful? Really like it. Here's another one to show you. Oh, this is really textured. Um, so this one is by Heather. Oh, that's really lovely and textured with that stencil. We've got some crescents in the background on this one with our pumpkins. This is by Kelly. She's done there. Nice watery effect. And then bringing this in, we've got our um, square, sort of rounded, really, aren't they? Rounded edged with those, with our diamonds. Uh, who was that by? That was by Heather. Uh, this other one, again, this is by Heather. That looks cool, doesn't it? Beautiful effect. Right then, uh, £46.94. Item number is 523026. And then we've got the squares. So again, you may have missed out on the squares. Here we've got uh, two stencils and two stamps, different sizes. I'm just going to grab a piece of um, cardstock because then I can show you the stamps. Here we are. Uh, brilliant. All go together fantastically. Let's show you this one. Make sure it's the right way up. Again, you can see the fabulous script going through. Good thoughts. 
I, lo I really like all this. There's so much there. So have a, a nice read um, when you get it home. So we've got that stamp, but then you're also getting your we, your solid squares, like so. And then let's get you the stencils order. I want to knock the pack shot over because I'm good at doing that. Uh, then we've got our stencils here. So useful, isn't it? Just so useful. And then you've got the smaller version. Let's just move that. Perfect. Right then, £27.96. Uh, item number is 671757. And then we've got the triangle. So you can see you can be building your collection of shapes at home. Here in this one, you've got your A4, your 6x6 six six stencil. And you've got one stamp in this one. So let's grab this. Let's show you the stamp. Love the triangles. Perfect. Again, they go super, super duper diddy which is excellent. I'm liking that. There you go. So cool. And then you've got your A4 and your 6x6 stencils. Uh, £19.97, a £6 pound saving. Item number is 609422. Hey, if you would like to send in any pictures of anything that you've been making, maybe you've got the triangle stencils or you've got the square stencils, as always, we love to see what you've been doing. You can send your pictures to studio at thecraftstore.com or pop it onto our Facebook page. Over to you then, Janet. Okay, dope. So I thought we would um, use the die because uh, I think it's a fabulous die to use. So um, I'm going to start just by, so I've embedded this. This is all sort of, I like to do that. I think it's a nice effect. Um, so to create my um, background to start with, I've just used the two um, scripted circle, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'll get my shapes muddled up, scripted stars and scripted whatever they are, <laughs> semicircles. <laughs> oh. One day I'll be a professional. <laughs> oh, of course you are. Bless you. Oh, God. So I'm just using two colours because I like to use two colours and I'm going to spritz because I like the effect, the watercolour effect. And then uh, this is not, this is only because I want to cut this out. So it's got, it's not going to be um, perfect or anything. I just need it to, to cut out. Oops, very watery. In fact, I might have enough to... Just do that bit there. I just need this area to be big enough to um, for my die to fit over. Yep. Yeah, that'll do. And then I'm going to do the die, uh, stars as well. That's a lovely colour. What, what colour is that? Yeah, this is using? Mermaid Lagoon. Oh, it's lovely. And this isn't the colour I used originally, but it was one I found in yep. Rustic Wilderness, nice. which is the new one. Give it a spritz. Quick spritz. I know what it is. My the spritzer I use when I come here because yeah. I have one that I keep in my bag is a lot more puts a lot more water on than the one I have at home. Oh, I see. <laughs> so I always end up with it being a lot more watery than I I do at home. Well, that's fine. So that's fair. that's fine. It hasn't all stamped out because I didn't really press that very hard. But that's all I need is just to give myself a background. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use my fantastic dye. I love that dye. So this is number 24, uh, Moon Stars, it's called by Bipasha. It's absolutely gorgeous dye. Yeah. You've got all your beautiful elements, you've got your numbers wound into it, you've got your crescents, you've got your stars, um, and, and your little splotches as well. There's always a few little splotches as yeah. well with Bipasha stuff. So all I'm going to do, and I'm not going to do it here because I've got one I've already cut out, is I'm going to cut out, uh, die cut that whole thing. Um, I'm also, that would be my last die cut, okay? So first of all, I've die cut it out of, black and then I've also die cut it out of white so I've got a background as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this I don't know if it shows up better on black or white so I'm going to pop the black back into place I right. would all stick this down obviously and then as I take the die out of the machine I'm going to keep all the pieces in there and bit by bit I, um, I'm going to pop them back in. I'm not going to do it all here because it takes quite a long time. And, of course, I will never find all the right bits to go in the right places. But uh, there's a bit nice big bit there that I know. So that bit will fit in there. So basically, I'm just going to go through and mm. pop all the pieces back into place. And once you've done that, it will look like this. See, I love a bit of paper piecing. That yeah. looks excellent, that. And you can't get that... Uh, don't think, I mean, apart from obviously just putting the die on, but you can't get just these pieces. I don't think you can do it any other way. I can't right. think of another way of achieving that effect without 
doing all the paper piecing. So having done all that, okay. I'm then going to uh, do my background. So I'm going to start with the stars because we like those. So these are the reverse stars. So these are the stamp set that go with everything. And I'm just going to pop again the same colour of ink. Yeah, then that will tie in nicely. And then that just ties in. And I only want a little touch. So if I can remember where I inked up, I just want a little teeny touch here and there, just kind of coming off. Didn't put any ink on that part. <laughs> so just coming off where the die is. I don't want a lot. I just wanted a little bit to extend yeah. where I'm going. I'll just pop little bits. And you can just find little lines here and there that you can use. And you can still see their little stars. Um, so this is a fantastic thing to be able to do. Um, so I've done that with that, and then I'm going to go back to my very favourite. <laughs> <because, laughs> I didn't it. do that. I didn't. When I did this sample, I didn't actually have this stamp set, but obviously now I've got it. It's I've got to use it. So we've got our three numbers. Find a die for this board, and actually, I should be using my new one. So Ooh. I think these are on the show. Okay. They were earlier, anyway. These are the new. Um, size plates from all and create as well so we've got the uh, a6 and a5 sizes That's cool. now as well so and of course really they're good. flexible like the other ones aren't they so they you can are, really yeah. so get they have into all the, the flex that yeah you can get into the middle of the stamp can. then so i'm just going to pop in some numbers here and there as well one in there yep. so i'm keeping it all quite close to the die i want the edges to be sort of fairly clean mm -hmm. nice um, so i'm space. just keeping yeah i like my white space and then we'll pop because we love the circles <laughs> and we'll just pop a few of those around cool. as well again keeping in and just kind of blending color. in so yeah. it kind of almost looks like Part of the design, it really. doesn't it just look like kind part of, of the extends, die actually. Extends it a little bit. I'm going to put one up there. And again, you know, this could be for any occasion. Yeah. So I'll pop that there. Okay. Um, and then I've used some texture paste again. So I used a lot of texture paste for this. Uh, so I have done a little bit more of that, but I'll just add some texture paste through. And I've used the um, crescents for this. Yep. It's not crescents. The oh, other, no, there's semicircles. The other word, <laughs> semicircle. <laughs> that's it. Uh, now, I've used the big one, so that's fine. So I'm going to just pop a few of these in along the bottom here as well. And is this a smooth or a gritty texture paste? This is just a smooth one, but your gritty one would work really nicely as well. Yep. And you can just have a little look through here and think, which, which bit do I want to use? I think, actually, I'm going to put it there and I'm going to use those two. Mm-hmm. So I like the way that comes around. Yeah, curves around. It's very satisfying, isn't it, using love, texture paste yeah, on the stencils? Yeah, really nice. I'll just pop that there. Yep. Yeah, look at that dimension. That yep, looks great. Really nice. And I'm going to put these three here in this corner, I think. Balances up the eye, actually, yeah. in the corners. I like doing diagonals. Uh-huh. I like doing threes, but I also quite like doing diagonals. I think you can get a bit obsessed with doing everything in three, and I think sometimes you don't actually always need three. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop that there. Fabulous. And then I will clean that, but I'll leave that there to clean later. Um, I just need to wipe the desk a bit. So, of course, you're going to be back on tomorrow at... Tomorrow at 8 o'clock. That's it. Yeah. Lovely. Exciting. This is my first one day special, Alex. I oh, haven't is done it? a one day special. I hadn't realised, Janet. Oh, no. Excellent. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm all like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. So, that good. obviously, that should dry first, but I'm just going to blend. I won't, I'll just ignore those areas for now, but I'm just going to blend a little bit of the ink around the edges as well. Okie doke. A bit of blue. Actually, I was thinking ink over um, texture paste is nice. Yes, yeah, yeah. it does. If once it's obviously it's a bit too wet yet, but you, I like to add a little bit of colour over the top of the texture paste as well. Okie dokie. 
Uh, and then we've got some of these lovely Janet Klein characters as well. So in my original, I didn't use any characters. I just used the words. Um, but, of course, you can add um, any of your characters as well. So okay. we've got the lovely gentlemen. So we could possibly use them. Aren't Look they nice. so fun? They've really got personality, haven't they? Oh, my favourite, I think, is the little girl with the cats. So I think what we're going to do is pop her there. Oh, she's adorable. And then she can have a little cat sitting somewhere there as well. Yep. Oh, a cat sat in the moon. Cat sat in the moon. And then this is my original sample, which isn't quite the same. But um, oh, the other thing I've added is some of the black stars. So these were the ones I popped out. Oh, and I put white ones over the top. So this is raised over the top. So I've actually added a white, because I'd cut it out from yeah. black and white. So I'd had little stars everywhere. <laughs> so I've added a um, touch of the white on top of there. Yeah. And then just added the black ones around the edges. Fabulous. Fabulous. Are you, do you reckon you could squeeze one more quick demo in? Um, I haven't got a demo, but I can do a quick demo of, of some of the stamps. Yeah, oh, I, haven't, that... I haven't got another demo. Oh, I'm one, sorry. I, I thought can... you had. No, sorry. But I can, I can show you a little thing with no, the... That would be great. Yeah. OK, lovely stuff. Um, OK, so uh, we're talking about the complete collection because that is where most of you, and I'm not surprised, are going for. Um, it's a really, really good price. Uh, so you've got in the complete collection, you've got your two A4 stencils, those lovely stars um, and semicircles, plus you've got your two uh, six by six stencils. Then you've got the fabulous die that Janet's just been using. Really like that. Plus, you'll then get the awesome stamps, and they all go together fantastically. I can show you a few samples just while Janet's getting ready. Here we go. This one is by uh, Debbie, and she's used our nice bit of white embossing going on. So that's with the fabulous stamps. Then we've got the stars in the background. This one is by Corrie, who's ex so good at colouring, isn't she? Um, and then this one is by Philippa. Nice bit of texture there. Oh, that's really cool, actually. Really cool. Then again, we've got our semicircles in the background with our fabulous characters. And then here, we've got uh, this one is by Philippa. That's called cool. Lots and Lots of Texture. Um, ooh. Oh, stifled a sneeze. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's going to come out. It's going to come out. Yeah, that was, Baker just said that was a very dramatic pause. I was like, no, I'm going to sneeze everywhere. Right. Um, so you have got this on, not two, but three flexi by payments, which is just cracking. Now, it did sell out uh, earlier this hour, but we can get some more. It's on extended delivery from the... 22nd of April, so only a few days. Three payments then of £20.97. You get an extra discount if you're a Freedom member, and of course, your postage is covered. 589096 is the item number. A um, few more samples, shall we? Okay, so we've got this one by the lovely Joe, Joe Elliott, who's done those in the background. Uh, here's one with some of the stars. It's really cool. Um, that's by Philippa, and I don't know what she's used there. It's just really cool, the different colours and everything. It's really cool, liking that. Maybe it's inks with texture paste. Uh, we've got this one by Kelly. Awesome. And then let's do one more. This one is by Philippa. They're all so brilliant. Again, go to um, Abs's Facebook group and uh, have a look at more samples on there that's excellent right are we out to come back to you yep. janet yep yep so i've got a couple of little things i can just show and this is just one of the s s little square stamps from the wisecracks stamp set and i was just messing about with it earlier on and you can make little patterns with them so if you um just stamp i'm not my eyesight's not the best for doing this but i <laughs> very strange eyesight but um if you just do a few of these in a row. Yeah. Let's do one more. Oh, no, I've got to do five, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> you've, got to, you've got to get the odd got numbers get the now. the odd numbers in. Um, and then if you come across here... Oh. Ah. Whoop. Don't worry. We'll ignore that one. And like tiles, these. I quite like this. You can start to build patterns. Yeah. I like this a lot. It's almost like you're building up a mosaic. Yeah, you can do all sorts. And then oh, the reason I keep dropping things is because my hands are quite sore. Oh, bless you. <laughs> and so I can't hold things very easily and um, I keep just dropping things. I thought I'd just explain it because I'm not actually that clumsy. But Don't you worry. <laughs> 
So, and then, if you're really clever with your eyesight, which I'm really not, so this isn't going to look brilliant, but you can just go in with another colour. Oh, yeah. And just start to fill in. Obviously, you would do it a lot more carefully than I am, and you'd take time, and you'd be able to stick your head over it and everything so it all lines up. So you can just do some, some pattern building. Nice. With just, just one tiny little stamp. You That's could, it. You could do a whole thing, or you could do a frame with it. Um, so it's just this set is just an amazing set. Do you want yeah. a few more minutes? Oh yeah, great. I can just quickly show you. Not to use that. Still a bit of card somewhere. I do. Just stamping through stencils as well. Yeah, somebody I like asked that. about that earlier on. And you can just use script. I like script. You can use. Um, and with stamping through stencils, I wouldn't tend to put them on the mounts because um, you need, because you've got the width of the stencil to get through, you need to be able to, to give it a, a good press mm -hmm. and, and it's kind of, yeah. So you can pop words through, which looks nice. Oops. I like that, I like that look, it's very yeah. effective. I haven't actually outlined it or anything, but obviously you can outline that and Quickly draw around that. So you can either outline it like this, or you could um, obviously shade it as well. So you've got this sort of little bit. I would maybe use a dark, a lighter colour of green underneath. Yep. And then I just also you could do it with. Um, if I had a teeny bit of colour, which probably look a bit better. Do it with this one. Or you could use the scripts through it as well, so yeah. these ones look really good through it. Excellent. And it doesn't have to come out perfectly, of course, and you would stick it down, of yeah. course. <laughs> but, uh, oh, didn't ink that bit. And then you've got your Lovely. sort of scripts and things through the stencils. Thank you, brilliant stuff. Right then, so I'll just show you the wise cracks um, one more time. Here we are. Uh, so here we've got the wise cracks. We've got um, honesty is the best policy, but insanity is the best defence. So we, go, we can see some samples in the background from this uh, collection. Uh, we've got, I'd rather have a bottle in front of me <laughs> than a frontal lobotomy. It really is, <laughs> it really is good fun, this. Uh, you remind me of a software update. Whenever I see you, I think, not now. It's so good. <laughs> I think that's my favourite. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny, isn't it? Uh, I officially resigned from adulthood, liking that. Uh, keep the dream alive, hit the snooze button, yeah. that is definitely I think that's me. my second favourite, I like that one too. Yeah. So just to point out, there is a little bit of a typo on here because it says ones rather than one, um, but we have um, like discounted it with that £5 off um, and it has been really, really busy here. Just £12.99 then for our wisecracks. Uh, item number is 102137. And then just to finish off in the last minute, the complete collection is uh, coming onto the screen. You're getting your two A4 stencils, two six by six. You've got that fabulous die, which I adore. And in the complete collection, you are getting all four of those beautiful stamps. Uh, it really is a fabulous complete collection. Um, we have given, I'll just show the board again for the die, because I think this is important. Let's hold this the right way around. I love this die. I absolutely love it. Fabulous for paper piecing back in. It's a lovely composition. It's a beautiful shape. And again, you've got your stamps and your stencils to go with it. Now, it's really good because um, three payments instead of two, should you want to spread the cost. And it's just, your first instalment is just £20.97. Remember the complete collection, and we had a deep stock, sold out, but we can get some more on extended delivery from the 22nd of April. 589096 is your item number. Thank you very much, Janet. Thank you. It's been good fun. Likewise, we will see you tomorrow at yes. 8 o'clock. Bright and early. Uh, now, we've still got another live hour to go, so please make sure you are staying tuned. See you after this short break. Next then, we have got the ladies from Jubilee Designs in the building. Then you can catch a repeat of this show, and later into the night, it's Crafty Individuals.
Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque, and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals, and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journey, join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dies and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hello, good evening. Uh, now, it's been a while since I have worked with Julie and Sue, so I'm very mm. looking forward to this. How are you both? We're very well, thank you, Alex. And you? Yes, mm. all good. I can see you are surrounded by the most gorgeous samples. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, you've brought some really nice things for us today. So, um, Sue, you're going to be demoing then, are you? Yeah, I'm behind the sewing machine. I'll be doing the sewing. Excellent stuff. Um, so, Julie, let's talk then through our fabulous products that we've got on the show. Right, Moda, fabulous yep. Moda. Okay, uh, so um, you've got your layer cake here. Uh, it's really, it's um, really beautiful fabrics, it isn't is. it? So that's um, the daybreak layer cake, and we've given a pattern for a hunter style pattern. And actually, the quilt is right behind you. Yes, the quilt. Yep. Excellent. We're having a here we go. Um, Step out the way. So I think quite a few people will have re recognised the actual style of the pattern, but we've actually altered the pattern so that it works with the layer cake. Um, and we've only used so you get 42 10-inch squares in a layer cake. But we've only used 18 in that. So if you use them all, right. you could get quite a big quilt. Yeah, that's amazing. So they're very um, they're very pretty, almost like um, English garden. Do you it know is. what I mean? Uh, really nice. Oh, stately home, Katie's just said in my ear. Yes. Yeah. I yes. like that idea. Um, so we get the pattern with our layer cake. We get cake. the pattern with that layer cake, yes. Excellent. So now these are, of course, as ever, 100% cotton. Mode of fabric, which says quality. And you're getting 42 10-inch squares. That's right, yes. Excellent. But as you said, though, you can make an even bigger... You could either you could make an even bigger one or you could get two. You just need to add a bit of background fabric. Yeah. Um, and if we have time, we'll demo how to do that sh actual block. So it's quite nice and easy one, that. Nice. I mean, look, we've got paisleys in here. Um, lovely little 
little sprigs there. Uh, that's quite nice. That's a, more of a feature piece, that it one. It is, isn't it? Yes, mm. the, with the birds on it. It's mm. very pretty, that one. Gorgeous. And then we go into a few of our lovely pinks and reds. I think you've reds. got some nice patterns there, because it, it varies between some nice big patterns yes. and then some nice little ditsies and then also some medium-sized patterns. Absolutely agree. Just look at that. And the colours go together really well. I think, you know, that's the thing I like about layer cakes. Yeah. Is that, you know, they're all gonna, you haven't got to worry about picking the colours. Yeah. You know they're all going to work together. Nice. You don't have to think about it. Oh, I can see some deeper shades down here. I like the navies yeah. that are in that. It just adds a bit of, um, and there's a nice yellow or mustard in there as well, which yeah. I like. Beautiful. Oh, yes, yes. I can just see it at the bottom there. Hang on a second. Come on. Fingers and thumbs, fingers and thumbs. Look at that one. Very pretty. Right then, so if you'd like to go for this, remember it does come with that wonderful quilt pattern. That is £41.99. Now you can spread the cost. Two payments of £21. Item number 320684. Next, then, we've got more layer cakes and we've got options. Um, I have to say, I re this one's you cute. You like that one. <laughs> yeah, it's quirky because we've got some uh, animals on here, some cows, some... So that's called animal crackers. I love it. <laughs> yeah. It is quite cute, that one, isn't it? Yeah, I like this one. Oh, so, right, there's also a wrist pin cushion. You do. So Ooh. you get the mode of wrist pin cushion. Right. Um, with, each, with that particular layer cake. Fab. So look at these designs. And then we've got this, like noughts and crosses on here. We've got numbers on here. Hang on, I've just seen. Let me see if I can separate this. Oh, he's so cute. I know. <laughs> he's so cute. And he's got his uh, little monkey and he's got a heart there on his tummy. And then we go into some beautiful oranges. That's so nice. It's a little bit different, isn't it? It is. Uh, you know, and I, I think you could make all sorts of things. I think that would appeal to a lot of people, wouldn't it? It's yeah. A, you know, fun quilt. Really nice and fun. So fabulous colours, as always. Having a little flick through here. I <laughs> like the crocodiles. They're cute. Uh, so that one is your first one. So animal crackers, you said? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Um, down here, now it is under the same item number. So this one is your shine on, is that correct? Yes, it is. So completely different, really. They're all very different, those layer cakes, aren't they? So. Um, well, then it's something for everybody. Well, we all like different things, don't we? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And It'd be all boring that's if we all like the same, <laughs> wouldn't it? Really, I know. That one, that is really nice. It is lovely, isn't it? Mm, beautiful. So we've got some, um, it's soft, but can you have soft but vibrant all it's at the same bright, time? It's isn't it? Yeah, I really like it. Uh, and then we've got some more of your ditzy florals or some luscious colours in this one. Really like it. All going into some yellows. Fabulous. And the greens, wonderful. And then the last one that we've got is the yesterday. So all three options come with these wrist pin cushions. It, they do, yes. Excellent. Right. Ah, uh, now this looks more aged or vintage. It is, it? yeah. So this is a slightly darker range of colours. So I think there's some there's layer cake there for everyone, really, isn't there? Definitely. Look, all these wonderful neutral tones, the cherries. Yeah, this definitely has a vintage-looking feel. Love that. Um, so detailed. Oh, look at that one. That's fabulous. There we go. Great colour palette. Liking that. OK, so for each option, um, it is £41.99. You can spread the cost again on Flexibuy. Two payments of £21. 416604. Next, then, we've got some fabric panels. OK, so you're getting half a metre of the coordinating fabric. Yes, is that do. right? And uh, one of the pa big, large panels. So... Um, I forgot to bring the finished samples with me, and I'm oh, don't worry. sorry. Um, but you, you can either make a cushion out of it. Yeah. Um, and the half metre of coordinating fabric is actually quite, it's 148 inches wide, so it's quite large. I'll open it out, shall mm. I, because then you get an idea. Um, what type of fabric is it? It's got it's, a weight so to it. So it's got a lin some linen and cotton in it. It's a cotton linen. Right. Yeah, it's got a really nice weight to it, this one. Okay, so this is Marie the Meerkat. I love they've got names. <laughs> That's so cute. There we go. So we've got two meerkats on this one, but then you'll also get, so it comes with it, you'll get the panel. So I better open that one up as well, and then I'll sort out my folding shortly. So the coordinating yeah. fabrics are just a smaller print of all the, you know, yeah. which is, I think, lovely. 
Amazing. Um, and then let's just, I'm just going to open the one out just again so that you can see see the side. Oh, yeah, that's totally a cushion. There it is. Yeah, it is, yes. Yeah, look at that. Oh, they're so adorable, aren't they? So you get the idea for the sizes, right then? Uh, next to it, then, we have got Tina the Tiger. Oh, she's adorable. She's cute, that one, isn't it? A hundred percent cute. How sweet is she? Oh, her face. Butter wouldn't melt. <laughs> no, no. Not at that age, anyway. <laughs> yeah, love that. So, again, you get your coordinating, as well as your panel, you get your coordinating fabric. Then we've got Pierre the Pug. Oh, mm -hmm. great name. I like Pierre. Just, again, it's the look in their eyes, it isn't is, it? I mean, that's a real, oh, take me home. Yeah. <laughs> love me. And then, last but not least, we've got <laughs> Francois the Frenchie. I love it. <laughs> great names. So, um, I mean, you could even do, do you know what, draft excluders with this. You, this you is could the sort do of anything thing. at all, really, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah, just because I think it's got such a nice weight. It's sturdy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. lovely. Fifteen ninety nine. That's great price for those two coordinating ones. Uh, Fifteen ninety nine. item number is 167536. Next then, now, these are lush. We've got two options of the Starburst cushion. So you've got your sparkly blue or the sparkly grey so here's the grey because um, right so we've got it's so nice you know me I love a bit of sparkle so do we yeah 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 look at that that's fabulous okay so what do we get in the kit so in that kit you get all the fabric to make that cushion yeah um, and it's made doing a foundation piecing okay. but, which we will show you how to do but it's we've got full instructions um, in the pattern yeah and you also get the cushion backing Oh, that's good. The back good. of the cushion and the binding, so you get everything in it. Wonderful. So you just need your cushion pad? You don't get the cushion pad. No, you no. just need to get one. That, that's I mean. all you need to get, yes. yes. Excellent. And then, so if I just turn this around so you can see, you get all of that fabric. Has it got, this has got a little bit of a, um, um, like a foiling to it. It has, there, well, we like yeah. metallic. Nice, nice. Now, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the same. Um, right, the, the blue, though, currently is in the lead. So let's show you the fabrics here. This is so lush, isn't it? Again, you've got that nice bit of sparkle going through with it. And what's good is it's not in your face sparkle, is it? No. Not no, it's good. quite subtle, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so the, the actual the sparkle material is a, is a mode of grunge, which... Oh. Um, I didn't realise they did until I saw that, and I yeah. thought I like that. But all the fact that backing fabric is a Benetech, so it's all good quality mm. fabrics. Yeah. Um, and they've all got little bits of metallic or sparkle mm. in them. Running through it, love it. And it's a really good size cushion. Do you know the dimensions of the... It's between about 19, 20 inches. 20 by 20, they've just confirmed. Oh, that that's it, it brilliant. Yeah. Lovely, twenty nine ninety nine for either mm. option. 465834 is your item number. Okie doke. Uh, then we've got our wonderful star quilt. Okay, so you get in the full kit, are we? Yes, you are. The only thing you'll need to provide is your wadding and the backing. Yeah. Um, but you get everything you need to make that quilt, um, which it basically it's based on a lone star quilt. But yeah. if people know, you cut it, it on, on the diagonal, but because we put sashing in it, kind of stabilizes it so it does keep it nice mm. and it's a bit easier i think nice so we're looking at the lilac option here when it's all done uh, 55 by 55 i believe is the size yeah. in inches that is so that one is the lilac option uh, and then we'll also show you the blue option oh it's too so difficult to choose mm. they are really really beautiful it's so pleasing to the eye it that is, pattern yes yeah, uh, yeah. I, I find it it is lovely and you could also add in a little bit of embroidery or, or, or in the corners you know the large corners you could add all sorts to it yeah quite carried away like you know I like to <laughs> <laughs> excellent right then so you can spread the cost two payments of 40 pounds item number is three five five uh, four eight zero and um, then we've got the peacock table runner <gasps> This fabric is absolutely divine. Look at this. So we had this on a while ago and it sold out really quickly. Because we've got, a, where is the sample? Oh, the sample's up us. here. There we go. Um, and it is just made with one strip wow, of fabric. Wow, it's huge. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at that. I feel like I could wear this as a scarf. Look how big this is. Wow. That's an amazing piece. 
So do we get instructions? You do get the instructions. Yeah. Um, and we'll probably demonstrate that because it, it's, it's, it's quite an effective table runner, but it's really, really easy to do. Oh, it's wonderful. And I love that you get sort of, if you look, you've got the white sort of section or the white background and then the black background. But I just think that's so pretty. Absolutely divine, that. Okay. Oh, yes, the pattern for that. There, there you go. All righty, uh, just 19.99. Item number is 842.605. And then we've got the peacock panel. I'll have to open this one out as well. Okay, so this is 24 by 44 inches. Yes. And um, that, again, is another beautiful, what all the gold foiling is. It's, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So I made mine, I made one into a wall hanging and I added lots of bling to it. You have. <laughs> Look at all of that. That is absolutely beautiful. So if you, you pop sequins or stones I've, I've on, I put little crystals on it. I just stuck crystals all over it. But you can, you know, do all sorts of things with it. Yeah, really beautiful that. Mm. And for the panel, that's a really good price. Uh, Twelve pounds and forty-nine pence. Item number is seven zero four one five four. And then we have got the um, Moda Honey Bun. Yes. So a, mo a honey bun is a bit like a jelly roll, yep. um, except for it's one and a half inches wide right. instead of the two and a half inches wide. Um, and I, you get a pattern with it as well, which is the quilt behind, which is like a log cabin. Nice. Yeah, it looks really cool. Look at all those colours you've got. The beautiful colours, mm, aren't they? Plums and lovely uh, apple greens. It's really, really pretty. Nice. Okay, so there we go. You've got your lovely little honey bun uh, and it comes with a pattern as well uh, 34 pounds and 99 pence item number is 530876 and then we've got i love it's called a pudding roll pudding roll <laughs> yes, that's so right. cute look again um, so motor do a dessert roll which has got um 25 inch strips but this has got 10 um, five inch strips right so it's about the size of two um, charm packs actually so if you chopped it up you'll actually get two charm packs oh right so you can but you can do also so you can either make a mixture of five inch squares or two and a half inch strips and yep. make whatever you like with it really oh sorry there you go all right then um 20 pounds and 49 pence item number is 092 363. Uh, do have a look at the website. Of course, you can shop by brand. So if you'd like to go to um, Jubilee Designs, there's loads more on there. Fabulous patterns, loads of wonderful kits. Uh, look at the oh, five star review there for our wonderful panel. Uh, yes, we've also got some books. Have a little look. Uh, so using your layer cakes. Um, what else have we got? Uh, quilting, uh, design make quilt. Lovely stuff. All right then, so without further ado, I'm going to hand over to you. So Sue, what are you demoing for us? We're going to demo the table runner. Okay, the table nice. Runner. Okay, so as you saw, you get it a great long strip. Um, and then what we need to do is to cut it into triangles. Um, and we're using a 60 de degree triangle. If you've got a, one of these, you can use this. Yep. Um, we do give you a template that you could use, but another trick that you can do, if you want to, is that on most of the rulers now, they do put on a 60 degree line. Okay. So, um, and I did this earlier, but I can't get it right. Oh, there we go. Um, so if you actually put, let me move, put down, down here, oh, I've got this perfect, now that's the 40. <laughs> no, she my, can't do it. Where's my 60 degree? Oh, there it is up there. Um, so if you put your 60 degree, that's it, line, which is along here, you can actually use this to cut as I well. I see. Okay. Um, so I've got a nice ruler, so I'm just going to use this. And you put, you place your ruler with the, at the top here, mm -hmm. and you cut that way and then we just flip it around and we cut it that way. Right. So then you've got your two different styles of triangles. Mm, like that. So when you've cut them all, you'll end up with, um, you need eight of one color, one type. So with the white, with the black at the bottom. Yep. And six with the white at the bottom. Okay. 
So, and then we're just going to lay them out. I can't get over how much I love this fabric. It's so dramatic, actually, mm, with the black is, background, especially. Yeah. Yes, I love the composition of the table runner. It's a so real centre, yeah. isn't it? It's a real centrepiece. You know, you put some, put put something on this, in the centre of it, like a so beautiful just... bowl full of, I don't know, flowers or something. I mean, we've made it into a table runner, but actually, you could just as easily make it into some round mats sure. and leave it like that. Yeah. Um, but we're going to make it into. Um, you've probably got enough to actually to make three round mats, but we're going to just do um, the table runner. Okay. We'll just move everything along. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, I can sit right. I can see where yeah. we're going now. Yeah. It's 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 a lot easier than it looks. It really is. Yeah. We go there. We need another one. I'm not that one I've dropped. We need a bigger table, floor. don't we? I know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just <laughs> um. Oh right. Uh, we are approaching twenty percent of the stock gone of our table runner kit already. It is a beautiful, beautiful fabric. It is lovely fabric, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> I know your eyes sparkle when you talk <laughs> about no. it. Um, but we we brought it on oh, a few months ago, didn't it? Was yeah. it? I remember it seeing Christmas? it. I yeah. think it was before Christmas and it yeah. just sold out. But we've managed to get some more. That's good. So um, we thought we'd bring it back on again. Oh, yes, please. And there we go. So then... Right, well, you have to excuse the mess over this side. No, all good. There we go. So, so that's... That's it. Yeah. So then we're going to join it together. So the first, what I tend to do, I would join these two bits. And it is just using a quarter inch seam, so I'll just pass that over to Sue. Okay. Are you going to pin or not, Joe? No? No. We'll just work it, okay. No, she's going to wing it, wing it, <laughs> wing it. It's Julie so Sue's I'm, I'm, a, I'm a winger. <laughs> <laughs> and what is this, a um, quarter of an inch? Or? Quarter of an inch, yeah. yes. To be honest, if you haven't got a quarter of an inch foot and you just want to use the side of your ordinary sewing foot, you could do that. Yeah. It would just come out slightly smaller. Okay. Sorry. I won't put That's all right. Don't worry. So I think the thing is that whatever you just seam allowance you decide to do. So if you're going to use a quarter inch foot, use it all the way Stick through. Stick with it, yeah. But if you haven't got one, you're just going to use it's. I think it's like three eighths of an inch wide, isn't right. it? You can use that, and again, just use it all the way through, and you'll end up with. It'll only be a tiny bit smaller. Okay. But, you know, if people haven't got a quarter inch foot, I don't want them to think they couldn't. Yeah, do it. that's it. And a beginner could do this. Yeah. I think they could yeah. actually. Yeah, that's good. Actually, you don't need to pin it because you can see where you join up with the lines. It's really, right. yeah, really easy. There you go. So you can see we've got all our drawings up there. Oh, yeah. We're just coming in. Perfect. Great stuff. OK. OK. So that's the first one joined. If you join those two. OK. So we don't really need to press as we go? or I'm going to press them in pairs. Got you. OK. Um, and so what I like to do is to make this centrepiece and what I'll do is I'm going to press one side. You'll see all the light, all the seams going to the left side. Yeah. Then when I do this top one, I'm going to do them all going to that side. Okay. So no, just spread out the, um, the fabric thickness. Okay. So this one I'm just going to iron to the right. Sorry, press. <laughs> we don't iron, we press. Yes, I forget about that. Uh, yes. <laughs> so it's just so easy to say iron, isn't it? Um, if you have got any of um, the ladies' designs from previously or the fabrics, then we'd love to see what you've been making. As always, you can send your pictures. Maybe you've done a quilt, maybe you've done cushions. You can send your pictures to studio at thecraftstore.com or pop it onto Facebook. There you go. Also, you want to put another one on that one. <laughs> Sorry, so you looked at me blank. Just give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and so that's the two, and then I'm going to add this one. Oh, okay. And I've do it pressed as a that. I have pressed that seam, so you need to press it before you add the third one on. Okie dokie. Because um, we'll sew over the seam. Mm -hmm. Probably what we'll do is we'll just make the one row. So sure. You, but you can see how quick it, it is. It is, isn't it? This is a nice afternoon project. Yeah, very quick. Yeah. 
but it looks so, I mean, mm. it looks and so And if you expensive. are just going to put it to a great table, you could embellish this. Oh, well, yeah, totally. You? Get some gems on it. <laughs> right, we are now a quarter of the stock gone of our Peacock Flourish Table Runner Kit. So you get your instructions and you get your fabulous long, 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 long strip. I couldn't believe how long that was when I was opening it up. Uh, 19 99 Item number is 842605. So I'm um, going to cut that up into as the ladies are doing there. There we go. Oops. Yeah, okay. A nice little production line going on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll get to do the sewing. <laughs> so. Give it another press. Beautiful fabric. It's the foiling in it as well that really makes it. Uh, we are very, very busy indeed for this panel. Please make sure you're checking out your baskets. Quarter of the stock has all, all over quarter an hour has already gone. Uh, your fastest way to order is if you do go to the website at thecraftstore.com. It's, it's sinking in slowly. It's sinking in. Mm -hmm. I have to stop myself every so often. I, bet, I, bet, I mean, I still say it. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, it's not. <laughs> there we go. So that's the Marvelous. first one. And then we're just going to join the ends onto this. Okay. Yep. And you can so. see how quick that was. It's wonderful. It's, and it's, it's not difficult. You're just no. sewing a few straight lines. Yep. So, and it's quite effective, I think. What a great present for somebody. As oh, well. my gosh. Wouldn't it be? I'd be delighted to receive this. I think I'd have to get two kits, though, because I want one for me. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I'd have to get two kits here. It is supremely busy. Do check out your baskets. Yeah, it's a great little afternoon project, but it does look so expensive when you've finished it. Uh, how are we for making to sell, actually? Um, if you want to make them and sell them, that's yeah. fine, yes. I don't think I could, though. I don't think you'd want to, yeah. would you? <laughs> no. Look at that, yeah. look how quick it is. And then we just add this one onto here and that's the bottom half done. Fabulous. Yes. I'll tell you what, just while you're, um, you're finishing Good that job. bit off then, okay. I shall do a bit of a recap. And then what, what do you fancy demoing next? Um, we, we do a bit of foundation piecing. Nice. Okie dokie, I'll be back with you in a minute. Right, half the stock has gone. That has just suddenly jumped up really, really quickly. Um, 842605 is the item number. It does come with the table runner pattern. I think that's um, really pleasing to the eye, actually, the composition of the pattern. I'm liking that. Okie dokie. Right, the Daybreak Layer Cake, that's this one. Yes, 40% of the stock has gone. So you get 42 10 inch squares. But look at these. And of course, you're also getting the pattern. And that will make the uh, quilt behind me, which we'll show you in a second. So you've got some wonderful paleys, uh, paleys, paisleys. Uh, someone's asking how big the quilt is. F approximately 56 by 56 inches square. There you go. That's about the size. But um, you will get some lovely fabrics left over. Look at that. It's a really nice feature piece. 42 10 inch squares and look at those with the beautiful pinks. I really like that one. Very nice. Some ditzy prints here. Ah, oh, nice. Look at these. Then we go through to some creams in the background. There's more colours in here than you think, actually. Uh, but they do tone fantastically. You've got all our beautiful birds. Look, then it goes into the a bit of navy just to give it a bit of a pop. And then we also go into some of those mustard shades. Um, behind me is the uh, quilt. So you kind of get the idea they, how they all work together. But it is, it's a sort of, it does remind me of sort of very um, English cottage. Do you know what I mean? The look of the fabrics. I'm liking those. Okay, if you would like to go for this, it does come with a pattern for the quilt. It's two payments of £21. Item number is 320684. Now, we, so Moda, Moda, more Moda layer cakes. So these come with that lovely wrist pin cushion, which you may have noticed that Sue, and they're both sporting them. Excellent. They're ever so handy, aren't they? It just means, you, you know, you've got it right there. Yeah. Into the sewing machine, you can just take it out. And yeah. Whereas I usually just put them all over the table. Yeah. <laughs> and they all get lost. No, no, right, that's good to you all, but it's a nice little gift in there. And then, right, we've got three options under the same item number. 
This one is really good fun. It's the oh, animal crackers. And because you can see you've got some really nice, um, uh, really nice designs there. Quite quirky in this one. And then we've got some of the numbers. Wait, wait, you'll see in a second. Here's our monkey with the heart. And then look at that gorgeous. Oh, wait, wait, I've got to show you this one. There you go. Hang on one second. Oh, I can't, I'm all fingers and thumbs. I just want to show you the animals because they're really cute. Look! Isn't that fab? Okie dokie. And then we've got some of the plaid. I've uh, got some really funky, quirky hearts. There are the cows. I like that. I like that with the black background. And then we've got our crocodiles. They look cute, don't they? Amazing. Oh, goes into the nice greens too. So you've got some brilliant colours here. Okay, two payments of £21 if you want to go for that option. But, uh, or £41.99 straight out. Next then, we have got the Shine On. Here you go. Look at these fabrics. Isn't that fabulous? And then our greens, lovely stripes. But the florals are gorgeous. It's really quite nice and bright. I'm liking this. It's almost like little rainbows. Don't forget, with each of these layer cakes, you'll get your wrist pin cushion. Oh, look at that red. It's lovely and vibrant, isn't it? Nice. OK, and then the third option. Here we are. So this one is called Yesterday, and it definitely does have that vintagey feel, doesn't it? Where shall I go? Shall I go from the top again? Um, that's not. That almost looks like crackling. Um, and then we've got some really unusual designs, then some really lovely ones. Let's see, look at that crackle effect. Very nice and small ditzy prints here. Oh, yes, really nice. Lovely neutral tones, but then we do go into the blues as well. So, of course, again, you've got 42 of your pieces of fabric of the layer cakes, uh, 10 by 10. Again, you can spread the cost, two payments of £21. Item number is at 416604. Right, we have news. The table runner, it has now gone limited. Um, so please make sure you are checking out your baskets. Just 19 99 Item number is 842605. It's such a beautiful panel, it really is. And it does come along with the table runner um, patterns there. Wonderful. All right, then. It's a good job you demoed with that first, actually. Isn't it? Yeah, lovely. All right, I'm going to hand back to you then. OK, okay so um, we thought we'd show you how to do the starburst cushion, which is okay, the okay. foundation piecing. Um, so in your pattern, you're going to get these sheets of paper. Yep. Um, so the first thing you want to do is to actually cut them in half and you'll notice you've got some labelled A, well that one's both of them are A there but it doesn't matter, some labelled A and some labelled B because we're going to make them in sections and one is right hand side and the other is the left hand side. Yeah. Right, so the first thing you want to do is you've got all your cutting instructions in the pattern so it'll tell you what sizes to cut all your pieces okay. to. Uh, so the first piece is this centre one, which is number one. And if you actually, you, we, we always do it back to front. Okay. So this is the sewing lines. Yep. And we're going to place the fabric. So what you want to do is just hold it up and make sure that you've got a good coverage of that centre. Right. I, can't, I don't think you can see it, can, I, can you? Um, and then you can stick your pin in. Yep. Like that. And then we're going to turn it over, and I need my little ruler, here it is, I would do it this side. And the first one we're going to, the next piece we're going to add, so this is number one, we're going to add number two. Okay. So I'm just going to fold this over, actually I didn't bring a piece of, what did I do with that? You did do one, Joe. I didn't I? What are you after? If you've got a piece of um, card, that works well, if not on, or a piece of paper, just to give you something to fold it up against. So you're just going to fold that back. And then you can take your quarter inch ruler and you just place the quarter inch there and we're going to just quick slip along there. Right. So then that gives us the line for our next piece. Okay. Um, so we're going to add in one of these. Is this the right side? Um, so it's like so sewing by numbers, really, isn't it? It is. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. 
It looks complicated, but it really isn't. Once you get the knack of this, it's really simple. Good. And it is the most accurate way mm. of making everything fit properly. Well, yeah, they, I mean, it just looks absolutely perfect, like you said. So then you've got your line, which you're going to place that on. Okay. Um, and again, I'm just going to put, a, I will put a pin in this. If you're going to use pins, you can use glue yep. if you want to, or you could use pins. If you're going to use pins, I recommend using some flat-headed ones. Yeah, good point. Big, and then Sue's just going to sew along this line here. Righty ho. <sighs> Number two. Are you alright, Sue? Yeah, yeah, I wasn't sure which line I was sewing on, but I know now that's fine. Okay. And what about stitch length, Ju? Do we need to. Good point. So, what you want to do is to shorten your stitch length, I would say down to about 1.5, 1 1.7. It depends on your sewing machine. Yeah. Um, but actually, a good thing to do is to literally, I'll get Sue to sew on one of these just to show you. You can you can find out what the right stitch length is by just sewing along this line because you want it to perforate. Yeah. Because afterwards we're going to pull these out. Do you want to just demonstrate? Okay. Yeah. Just demonstrate sewing along a line so just so that we can see how it perforates. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're showing the perforation, is that right? Yes, so Sue's so just going to, if you sew down the line, uh, it'll, when we, we, we take it off and we, if you've got the right stitch length, it should be a little bit of, um, can you see? Uh, we'll just come to you, you hold that there. Okay, so I've so, and then you can just have the perforation there. Okay. And if yeah. you pull it, does it tear? Yeah. Excellent. And there we go. Cool. <laughs> so if you have your stitch length too long, you won't be able to tear it. Right. And then you want to be able to tear it out quite easily when you finish sewing. Okay. So we've done one piece. So the next piece, we're going to just flip it over and I'm going to sew along, I'm going to fold along the number three line. We're just going to fold that back. Okay. And then um, we've got these quarter inch rulers and they've got quarter inch on each side mm -hmm. so you can just flip it over. Oh that's handy. Will we find these on the website, will we? They are, yes. yes. Um, and again you just cut up there and then we can put it back. The way to remember, some people get a bit confused um, about the process. Uh, one way of remembering it is um, the short term for teaspoon, TSP. Yeah. So it's trim. Yeah. And then sew and then press. Oh, good. I like that. <laughs> I like things like that. Helpful. Um, so the next one, so I'm going, again, I'm just going to put that along here. I'll put a pin in for Sue. Just hold it in place. Okay. Cool. Yeah, some people get confused when you're actually doing it and they think, do I sew it? Do I press it? Do I, what do I do? So do you always run the teaspoon? Yep, I like that. Do you have, um, are you in tomorrow morning as well? Or this yes, is, we yes, are. I thought I wondered. Yes, that's yes. good. There we go. See, this is where the pin, the pin cushions come in handy, don't mm -hmm. they? They do. Very nice. Remember, you'll get those lovely little wrist cushions with uh, pin cushions with your layer cakes. So that's the first two done. And Excellent. then I'm going to go on to number four. So again, I'm just going to press it over. I'll take my ruler. Trim. Yep. I'm going to trim it. And this gives us the place where we know what to place our piece. And I know, I just know what colours go next. Yes. But there is a big chart That's in there. Good. Yep. So you know exactly what, what colours to do. But I've done so many of these. <laughs> there without looking. You could do them in your sleep. I can now, yep. yes. There we go. Okay. Um, so it's building up nice and quickly, yeah? It is. I love doing these because it is quite, you know... The nice thing about this as well, you get some really nice points. If you look on the cushion, how yeah. pointy it is, but because we're sewing along the lines, you know it's going to be perfectly Yeah. Easy. Should we have a little look actually at our cushions just while... Um, now you've got two options. You can either go for the beautiful grey, 
uh, sparkly, by the way, it's a bit of sparkle, or the sparkly blue. And like we were saying earlier, it's not, it's not in your face sparkle. It's, look at this, it's really nice. So it's for a 20 by 20 inch cushion. Uh, so all you need to do is add your cushion pad. But look at that, so you get in all the fabrics that you need. It's beautiful, isn't it? So that is your grey option. And then the blue option. Which one's in the lead, I wonder? Ah, uh, the blue one's still in the lead. But it's a really lovely feature piece cushion. Yeah. So it's beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, look at that sparkle. A little bit more subtle on the blue, but really, really pretty. But this is just if, like because this just shows how well the points are. Yes. Yeah. Crisp. Absolutely crisp. Uh, back, back to you then. Okay. So again, I'm on to um, the, one of the little points here. And I've got which one is this? So again, this goes on here. This is nice little sparkly black. Yeah, I like that. I'd love a dress in that, I have to say. Oh, yeah, that would be a <laughs> little nice. black dress. <laughs> nice. There you go. Are you pinning that, Joe? Oh, sorry. So, again, as you can see, building up nice and quickly. No, of course. Where way. am I going? Oh, that way. Sorry. And now, of course, I know it's cracking on in the evening, but you've still got time if you want to send in any of your pictures of anything that you've been making from any of the kits that you've bought previously. Send your pictures to uh, studio at the craft room. Craft room. Studio at the craft store dot com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm still, still, gonna, it. still gonna still gonna take me a while. <laughs> it's been. It's, it's, it's change after such a long time, isn't it? it, it it's difficult to remember. <laughs> That's it. Um, and then we're going to put one of. Could you? Piece. Can a beginner do this one then? Um, or do you feel like you need to be a bit of a, you know, a bit accomplished? A confident beginner. I would. Confident. I wouldn't say a total beginner. I don't think it's a good project for a total no. beginner. A comp if somebody that's done a little bit, I think, you know, you could do. But yeah. I think if yeah. they just copied a part of the pattern and had to practice with some scrap fabric. Absolutely. Then I think you'd pick it up quite easily. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Because, yeah. you, c you know, you, c you can photocopy these okay. and have a practice. So if you do make them, you know, you, you can have a practice to make sure you, you know what you're doing. Oh, that's nice to know. So you've got, you, you've got a bit of safety. Yes. Yeah, that's good. And if you do photocopy them, the thing to do is to make sure you use the cheapest paper that you can find yeah good old just copy paper <laughs> absolutely because then it tears better yeah and you're only going to throw it away so there's no point using um really good quality absolutely remind me again tell because it's been a while since we've worked together ha tell me how you two met um so i had a shop in newbury Berkshire, yeah. um and sue was a customer um <laughs> and <laughs> And she used to come to the workshops, and then um, I was looking for some help, and she said, "Oh, I could do that." Oh, nice. So, how long? How long's that been then? It's quite a while now, actually, isn't it? Mm. Gosh, now you're asking. Five years? Is it really that long? Yeah, must uh, be. Yeah. Huh? Well, we've been coming to Hochanda for over four. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So it must be, doesn't yeah. it? Cool. So we're nearly finished one of our things, and I, we will just finish it because I'd like to show how to trim it up because it all looks a bit odd at the moment, doesn't it? And we're just going to print this one over. Having a quarter inch ruler does actually help because you you know you know exactly yes where to cut it. Then that's perfect. So you're doing two pieces at a time there, are you? No, oh, same sorry. technique. We're just putting the last piece on. Oh, it's, and it's hard, one to, little piece. hard to see. <laughs> there's one more little piece, and then that's oh. one of the sections done. Excellent. That's it, that one. Coming together fantastically. Uh, so your details are on screen then. $29.99 for either option. You'll get your full instructions. You're just going for the grey or for the blue. It's hard to choose. I would go for two of the same colour, actually, because I like having one either end. A pair, yes. yeah, definitely. Yeah. There you go. I don't know. I suppose I, did the, I like the blue, but I did the grey because it's more neutral. Yeah. So it will go um, in any room, really, won't it? Um, so this is our last piece we're going to add on and then we can trim it.
Yep. And that's it. Look at that. Brilliant okay. stuff. Oh, gorgeous thin. fabric. It must be so hard to choose your fabrics. If it's got sparkly and all. <laughs> <laughs> we always go for those. <laughs> we, did, we, we did think we should call ourselves metallic girls, really. Yeah. Because we just like metallics. I don't know, I think... Because they just look so... I don't know. Glamorous. Just, yes, they do, don't yeah. they? Where did the name Jubilee come from? Um, Julie. Julie. Ah. From Newbury. <laughs> oh, I see. I like the juice. Except you don't sell Newbury, but it, it's it's along those lines. I like that. So, yeah. That's cute. So anyway, so we've given it a final press. So there we've got. I mean, I know it looks a bit odd now, doesn't it? But I can never like that. Yeah, there, there we go. go just that one. So I'm just going to. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to trim it now. And you've got the lines on here so that you know where to trim. Yep. Perfect. Our side. So just trimming off the excess there. That is a really handy ruler. If you haven't got one of those, uh, have a look on the website. Well, it's quite a nice size, but yes, it, it has got, and you can just pick it up and. And there we go. And Marvellous. That the first Julie. bit. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely stuff. Don't worry, it's all good. We've got a shot of it. Okay, there we go. Okie dokie then. So for either option, just twenty nine ninety nine. Item number is uh, 465834. Okay, now if you are deciding to spend more than £60, then uh, we're going to tell you a little bit about how Flexi Order works. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Now, we're coming back to our wonderful layer cake. Oh, now half the stock has gone. You've got um, 42 10-inch squares here. And you're also getting the pattern to make this beautiful quilt, which is um, 56 by 56 inches in size. And then let's look at these beautiful fabrics. I love the paisley. The paisley one is just glorious. No, there's something very satisfying about it. Um, we've got lots of ditzy prints. You've got sort of... I would say it's a, a really nice sort of duck eggy blue. And then we go into some beautiful, pretty, pretty pinks. Uh, we've got some that have got birds on. Um, they all tone together fantastically. Look at that. Look at that. That's a really nice feature piece, isn't it? And then we come up. I really like the blues because that deep navy pops. It sings. And then coming on to, we've got some of those wonderful mustard colours. If I can, fingers and thumbs, fingers and thumbs. There you go. Forty-one ninety-nine is the price, and we've got it for you on Flexi Buy. Two payments of twenty-one pounds. Three two zero six eight four is your item number. Okie dokie. So I'm going to hand back to you then, um, Julie and Sue. Okay. So we're going to take one square of the layer cake, and then we're going to take another square of the background fabric and I'm just using a white, an ordinary white on white. Um, you can just place them together and we're going to cut them in half diagonally. Okie dokie. Like that. Yep. And then as you can, just to make it a bit quicker, you can layer them all on top. All the measurements and the cutting um, 
diagrams are in front and then we're just going to cut yep. a strip off here. How big a strip is that? And then we're going to set aside these triangles because we'll just use those as they are. Right. I'm just going to flip this around. And again, I'm going to cut Oops. Okay, sizes right. are all in the instructions, don't worry. And then yeah. I'm going to do another triangle. All the measurements are in the They are in the That's pattern. Good. To good. So now we've got all our pieces. So we've got two out of the way. diamonds. Yep. Uh, is this a trapeze or trapezoid? I don't Hmm, I don't my know. maths is well, not that good. Anyway. Been a while. One of those. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, and then we're going to um, lay them out. Basically, we're going to just lay them out in a square, but we're going to mix around these things. If I put one here, actually, let's turn that over there. Right. Put one here. And then this one will go up here. Okay. It's like one. chevrons, yep. No. Oh, and it just pieces all in. Pardon? It pieces all in. Yeah, so basically we, it's the same pieces and we're just going to shuffle them all around. Okay. Um, I've lost a bit. Oh, here we go. And this is, so you make two blocks at a time. Yeah. It's quite a fun pattern to do, actually. Yeah, it is, isn't yeah. it? Um, we've got another piece here. And this is, uh, the whole quilt is made up like this. Now, we've done ours in pairs, but when we've joined them together, we've joined them in pairs. But you could equally do it really randomly. Um, have I done this right? No. Now, this goes here. No. I always have to put these bits in first to make sure I get them. And that mm -hmm. piece. Yep. And that piece. And then... It's, they're very quaint fabrics, aren't they? Quaint, that's quaint. a very good word. Oh, thank you, oh, thank you. <laughs> no, very, they are quaint. And there we have uh, um, basically one, two blocks, right. exactly the same. Um, and you would continue to make them all. Um, the, so the first ones you want to sew together is these centre ones. Now, if you notice, because we're sewing on a, a diagonal, you just want to offset the corners just slightly. Oh, what, so you've got little ears? Yeah, yeah, so let me... I'll just put a pin in here. And we're using quarter of an inch seam. Yeah. We okay. are using a quarter of an inch seam on this one. So you can just see I've just got the little dog ears hanging out here. Okay. On the top. So. Oh, right, we've just found out. So the quarter of an inch ruler, uh, that's the end of call. So when people are checking out the baskets, that's where they'll find it. Yeah. Mm, nice. Okay, okay. And so when you're pressing this, you want to always press towards the pattern. Okay. And that means that when you come to joining it all together, they all ni lay nice and flat. Yeah. Um, so this one goes on there. Get it. Nice. Should we have a little look at the, um, the, the, the finished article? There you go. If that's all right, because here we are. It's um, really pretty, really nice colours. I like the blocks, they, just the way it all comes together. Oh, look at that paisley. It's absolutely divine. Uh, again, just a reminder that your finished quilt will be 56 by 56 inches, and you'll get the full instructions for this one. Glorious. Back to you, Sue. There we go. I've just done the next bit. There we go. Well, thank you. I'm just to uh, do these. Are both of your houses absolutely covered in quilts? I, do you know I give quite a few away? Do you? Ah. Yeah, my sons. Um, I've just given them one each. They just asked for one, so uh -huh. they they chose which ones they wanted. Um, but I do have some. I have got one, a couple of on the beds. Yeah, I haven't. Haven't you? You haven't, too. I was then giving them away. Ah. So but I bet people are really super chuffed mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. 
yeah, receiving it. Actually, I've got one in your room, haven't I? Oh, yeah, I've got a bedroom at Julie's house. Right. And um, <laughs> I have got a nice quilt on that. Ah, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's good. So this, again, this is another project that actually seems to come together quite quickly. She's just yeah. sewing in straight lines. Yeah. yeah. We Very do nice. like to bring on some nice achievable projects. Yeah, otherwise, that's Otherwise, I think, I mean, maybe the foundation piecing is, is not quite as easy as this, but, mm -hmm. you know, that's the next level. But I th we try and bring something for everybody, yeah. I think. That's great. And I love the versatility of the fabrics and the kits that you bring. Like you said, something for everybody. And we always, we always use good quality fabrics because I've just got this thing that, you know, if you're going to spend time making something, mm. you want it to last, really, yep. don't you? So we've, um, I'm just finger pressing these. Okay. So now we can now join these together. Right. And because we've pushed, pushed them um, or ironed them towards the dark, they all just nest very neatly here. Yes. Reducing all that bulk, which is great. Yep. Uh, so what time are you back on tomorrow? At 11 o'clock. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. Not, yeah. not too early. <laughs> no, I know. We get so, a lay in, don't we, Joe? Yeah. yeah. Fabulous. Uh, two payments of 20, what was that, 20 pounds, 21 pounds there and 99 pence if you're going to go for the, the layer cake. Um, Hunter's star pattern. Remember, it is Moda. Fabulous, fabulous quality of your fabrics. Uh, 320684 is your item number. Oops. Yep. There we go. Okay. Some pins. Oh, go. thank you. <laughs> I love you <laughs> handing back the pins. And then we'll just add this one or the corner onto this bit here. Okay. And then that's a block okay. done. How quick and easy. Yeah, that. it's nice. Really nice. Um, so what? Uh, so then you got a nice piece for the backing here. Um, I think so I just, just use, yes, I just put a little spotty on the back. Yeah, that works. Works well. I it's, didn't get round to buy, putting a binding on that one. Oh, don't worry. It's busy. How long did it take you to make that one then, Julie? It wasn't that long, Not to be too honest. Bad. Yep. No, because what I did was I, I obviously do them in pairs, and once I'd got all my blocks made up, yeah. um, and it's quite easy just to sit, because it hasn't really taken us very long, has it, to mm -hmm. do one, one no, of these. No, one block. No, that's great. Um, and, and once we'd sewn them all, all the blocks, I just lay them all out and then just sewed them in rows and that was it, really. And then I've added just some, some little borders around, around yeah. the outside of the quilt. Excellent. Just come into that. And then last piece. And then we can trim it to size. Hey, there you go. And that would be great timing then, actually, because we're coming to the end of the show. Yay. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. I like that you do have your own production line, though. It works well. You work really well together. <laughs> and how quick and easy was that? Perfect. There we go. There we go. Nice. So I'll give it a quick press. You can see yep. the finished finished article. So yes, these lovely fabrics, they do have a really nice quaint feel to them. Uh, but do have a look at the website. There is definitely something for everybody. We've got quirky, we've got all sorts. Mm. Just to say this one doesn't come square. with your pin cushion. Mm. I should just move that one out to the side there. Okay, how are you? How so are there that? we have our block and I, then you just need to just trim it up. Yep. I think it trims up to measure eight inches. Yes, it does. Look at that. It does Perfect. actually measure eight inches. Perfection. <laughs> Look at that. And then the block is done. So just keep repeating. Yeah, keep making them. Yep. Perfect. There we go. Yay. Just coming to you. That looks so pretty, doesn't it? Gorgeous stuff. Thank you, ladies. Right, so one last look at this layer cake. Um, we've got the beautiful paisleys in here, lovely duck egg colours. You will get your pattern to make the quilt that's behind me. 
Uh, very, very pretty indeed. Two payments then of £21. Item number is 320684. Uh, so we'll see you tomorrow for the 11 o'clock show. Fantastic, lovely stuff. Do make sure you are ordering after the hour as well. We've got those other layer cakes that come with the um, wrist pin cushions, which are really cool. Right, I will see you bright and early tomorrow. Next then, we've got the All and Create One Day Special, followed by Crafty Individuals, Fun and Friends. And later into the evening, it's iCraft. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs. We've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well.